night, cause on a Friday night, me have to tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tune in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At the show we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Good night, good night, good night, everybody, and welcome to Real Talk. Can I tell you, we are going to give you a great show tonight, picking up somewhat where Digital T left off on the Friday storm. So prepare yourself and come on board for some real talk, and it promises to be very exciting. Um exciting and entertaining as we go through tonight. You're tuned to Stars FM Radio, 96.1, 96.5, and 96.7 on the FM dial. And this evening's show, we go from now until 12 o'clock, by the way. And my co-host tonight is not Daddy Rude. It is indeed... Mr. Prestige, DJ Prestige, Mr. Smoozik, good to have you in studio with me tonight. And I know my face will be smiling right throughout the show, and I'll be kidding my teeth and laughing myself to frazzle. All right, so we're going to have a great show. Our engineering studio is Cassidy tonight, and he is the silent assassin. And I'm sure you'll be <laughs> holding things down for us quite well as we go throughout the show. All right, big ups to Digital T, who the musical ingenious is with us for a little bit right now. Big up yourself, Digital T. And to all our listeners who have tuned in and have put down whatever they were doing. Yeah, to come and watch the live stream right now on Facebook. And for those who are tuning in and telling a friend to tell some other friend that Real Talk is on Styles FM Radio. Kudos to you guys and thanks for joining us. All right, the local number tonight, if you want to call us or send us a SMS or WhatsApp only, that number is 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. And for the international connection, all our friends overseas, big ups, big ups. You want to call us later on, that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. Let me shout out also to all our social media people. All right, those of you who are watching the live feed right about now, that's, of course, at Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page. That's for the Facebookers. Yeah. Go on Facebook and check it out. And please feel free to leave a comment. And to all our friends who have been texting in week after week via Facebook, yeah, thanks, guys, and we appreciate love the input that you have made as well all right to our friends who do youtube you remember now that the show is posted afterwards on youtube all right so <laughs> Cassidy. all right so you can check out youtube at styles fm radio all right and you will be able to see the post dated shows there our instagram friends follow us at styles fm and for twitter styles fm 961 and i'm going to give prestige those on the go numbers for the usa canada and the uk i want to say good night uh, going out to all my listening audience right the sexologist is right here in the studio <laughs> not the road tonight and um the number for the United States, 712-832-2772. For the UK, 033-0010-3322. And for Canada, 647-957-9637. And I want to say good night to all my music listeners. Right? Who tune in, in tonight and all my styles FM family who tune in tonight. We are here to give you a good show. Mm-hmm. Indeed. And I'm looking forward to it. Let me say big ups, big ups to not Daddy Rude, but to Hewell Jackson. Well, Hewell uh, Jackson will come afterwards. Let me say big ups to Karen Jackson, Mrs. Karen Jackson, and to Nazaya. 
of course, who don't understand a thing going on right now. But big ups to you, Karen, Mrs. J, and of course to Huel, the decent good up, good up Huel, who is Mama Jackson and Papa Jackson's good up, good up decent child. Um, I hope um, Daddy will stay at bay for a while. <laughs> but good night to you guys. And please do enjoy the weekend. Please enjoy the weekend and much, much blessings to you guys. Remember now, I big up UL Jackson <laughs> and not Daddy Rude. <laughs> Nobody can deal with Daddy Rude. For a special reason tonight. Yes, yeah. definitely, definitely. Big ups to our friends also on the whatsapp connection they are tuning in already gracie we see you big ups to you my 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 godmother sadie cavoy over there in saint thomas big ups to all the saint thomas crew right about now you know yourselves you're large and you're in charge mommy and the crew tuned in locked in uncle barry and everybody big ups to you right jojo and everybody else um big ups also to our friends in saint mary yeah, man, St. Mary, people them large up and always locked in, always texting in to the show. We love you guys so much. And to our friends in St. Anne as well, all down there. Yeah, the Garden Parish of St. Anne. Kudos to you. And did I leave anybody out? Portlanders. No Portlanders, yeah? Big ups to everybody in Port Antonio, all around, other environs, near and far. Um, Long Road, Long Bay, all about Bone Brook. You know, Norwich. You know, help me. Oh, Norwich, Norwich, Snow Hill, St. Margaret's Bay, Saint Margaret's Bay, Bay, Buff Bay. Bay. All my Buff Bay family. Bay, Good night Saint to you. St. Mary. Yes. St. Anne. <laughs> St. <Saint> Catherine. <laughs> yes, everywhere. everywhere. All across the length and breadth of Jamaica. You're tuning or you, you know, you're locked in. We want to say, hey, two thumbs up to you guys and thank you for being a part of Real Talk. You know, it's the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal and don't forget the overseas listeners right of course man yeah. definitely all our friends over there across the us of a canada and the uk we always you know appreciate your efforts and your input even if you don't text in and you're tuning in you're sharing about styles we appreciate it because one tells one and of course one world one styles one world and the world listens all right so thanks guys um how have you been, Prestige? You look really dapper tonight. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Simple and handsome and dapper. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and fat. What? <laughs> look at those cheeks, man. Yeah. What have you been eating? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a perfect program Ladies, tonight. he looks fat. <laughs> he looks round like one of those well, English pounds. It, it, it seems like I get some good rest. Oh, you have? Yeah. yeah. It's Some not the food rest. you've been eating? Um, I'm not eating a lot. Oh. You know what I'm saying? It's not so much how much you eat, it's what you eat. That is it, though. That is it. You, know? you haven't been doing much meat, right? Or much carbohydrates, right? No. Mm, you look mm. round, though. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. And I talk about myself still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's talk about to go down that road. No. I see you smiling or, or laughing at me. I'm not sure which one. No, you know why I'm you know why I'm open my mouth. No, man. don't do. Do why. me, I beg you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not you're looking, tonight. you're looking nice. You know, and we are gonna use the old time terms. You're looking rosy. Rosie, oh, yeah. tonk you, tonk you, tonk you. Yeah. Lisa, where are you going? <laughs> Good night to you, Lisa, over there in Atlanta. Yes, and Gracie, stay right here. Good night. With us. Bye. Lisa, Lisa going? your frenemy is not here tonight, mm. Lisa, mm. so you can stick and stay with us. Your friend is here, not your yes, friend. Yes, your friend is <laughs> 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 Yes, Kimo, it's myself mm. and I, um, oh, Daddy Prestige, oh Lord. Mm. Prestige locked in. Okay, she's going to the casino. Man, I'm going to your money, or you're going to win some money. All right, Lisa, enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> All right, so you have been great, right? Yeah, I worked today. Oh, you, you did? Know, yeah, you know, every Friday. Mm, me too. Yeah, Daddy would call you up and say prestige, you know, at that time of the year. So mm -hmm. You got to represent, know. right? Yeah, so I'm going to say, all right, no problem, you know, because mm. when I finish, you know, I'm just going to go get some rest. And watch some TV, you know what I say? See what's going on with Danny up in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, things are too look good for Danny still, but you know it's things set. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You're going home <clears throat> to to watch TV, you said. Yes, that's what I do. That's all you're gonna do. Watch TV. Do you have something planned for me? <laughs> <laughs> I should have known better than to ask you that question. <laughs> well, you want to go to party after we oh finish Lord. work? Eh? Well, I have a long weekend, so oh. yeah, it starts tonight. Yeah. So, well, we are going to have a great night. For, I'm going to have a great night with you until 12 o'clock, Most right? definitely. With I this topic. I look forward to that. So, a topic. bay, daddy rude, a mm. bay, all right? All right, so tonight we're going to give you an idea of what <laughs> the Vox Pop is going to be like. And can I tell you, it is not normal. It's a very real, 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 one of the realest topics we're going to ever probably do on this show, you know. Realer than the dopey story one, one I want to hear more of. <laughs> real, real, real. Because this is an issue that there are people out there probably, you know, grappling with. And they might not want to talk about it. They might be afraid. They might have spoken about it and no resolve. They might be wondering what next to do, what next to say. But tonight we hope we'll be able to educate while we entertain you on this topic tonight before going any further gracie is saying the mic a hide prestige and some face oh well, we straighten it out yes right 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 we just straighten it out ah, grace but mm. big things are going for you a big compliment already mm. okay that's miss daddy's granddaughter oh okay then mm, grace <laughs> mm. all right so our, our vox pop well idea for tonight here goes let us share, and then afterwards, after the break, we're going to be coming back to you on a lot more of this topic. A very juicy, saucy, real topic tonight. And you know, I'm um, clear. Mm -hmm. This topic tonight, I want the listening audience to participate, mm -hmm. interact with us tonight. Right? And talk the truth. And talk the truth. Yeah, me real know, talk. I know never like this topic, you know. Real talk. I want to know so one thing with me. If I come from real talk, I'm talking real. I'm not hitch. I don't know that. Because I tell you all the time, so my back broad. Yeah. So any one of the ladies that want to jump on my back, Aye. not a problem. Ladies, you're you invited you to jump on yeah. Prestige's back. Anytime you're ready. <laughs> all right. Uh, me can't talk like you, my love. No. Um, so here we go with our Vox Pop tonight. Some say sex is pleasure. Okay, okay. We're going for that break and come back. <laughs> it's not yet Cassidy, we're going for that break <laughs> and come back. <laughs> it hit you already, huh? Yes, let me go for that well, break. Well, when, when sex hits you, you feel no pain or you shouldn't, Don't right? Don't touch it. Don't and before it we it. go any further, let yeah. me just say that the show is rated P, G, uh, well, A, mm -hmm. rated R. Mm -hmm. Rated A, triple yeah. A, adults yeah. only, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> times three. Yeah. All right, so make sure you have the kids in bed mm -hmm. away from listening to the show because it is not for children. Yes. It is for adults only. Yes. And Alrighty? keep it real alike. I mean, no one have a code, you know, and just put it on the code. Which is right. And don't know thing. Get your yeah, earphones yeah. and all these yeah. things too, if you yeah. must. All and right. Code, and code up the thing. All right. Yeah. So, some say sex. Is pleasure while some say sex is pain, and because we are now at 9 30, I will let us now go to the break. And when you get back, some more you will gain. All right, it's now 9 30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting Nassal. Prestige and I will return after the break. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text 
And now WhatsApp 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget 518-2399. This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Lauren Show. In style, on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the Collector's Edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Really rich enough for the other side. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 9216 or 439 5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also on Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. I'm Lady Cleo at the microphones and our prestige is with me tonight. And we just shared a part of the Vox Pop. <laughs> so we go back to the Vox Pop and we crave. We crave your indulgence tonight. <clears throat> Sorry. We crave your indulgence tonight. So make sure you feel free. You feel free to join in on the conversation. You feel free to send a message, an SMS, or a WhatsApp text. And of course, feel free to call the numbers. Um, overseas line and the local line, it's open. Feel free to call in. Let me say big ups to Kevin Walters. Blessings to you too, my love. Um, Calvin Roberts over there in Canada. Tonette Robinson, Grace Ball. Clive Lamont joined in as well. And let's go back to the other below that. Kadian was it Kaden Edmond already. She's the last person. All right, so kudos to our friends on the Facebook Live who are connecting with us. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with the Vox Pop. I get, well, the rest of the Vox Pop. From the top, some say sex is pleasure. While some, <clears throat> sorry, while some say sex is pain, then should it matter whether it's good or lame? Why do you, <clears throat> why do you think some people's, sorry, why do you think some persons, especially women, claim that they don't like sex? They don't like sex. Part three says, what would you do if your partner can't seem to please you in bed? Hmm. Wow. Hmm. <clears throat> so let me go. Th <clears throat> Prestige, Prestige cleans his throat. <clears> throat. Let me go. <laughs> What's in your throat? <clears> throat> I drink the juice. I want it kind of sweet. You know? Okay. Go to the wrong side. Well. You know, <laughs> Mm. All right, so let's look at this one, one, one more time. My, my, my. Some say sex is pleasure, while some say sex is pain. 
then should it matter whether it's good or whether it's lame? Hmm. Why do you think some persons, especially women, claim that they don't like sex? Part three, what would you do if your partner can't seem to satisfy you or please you in bed? So ladies, the gentleman cannot satisfy you, please you in the bedroom. What would you do? Men, the lady is not so good at all. She cannot make you feel the way you really want to feel in that department. What would you do? Very, very pertinent questions, but they are real talks. And that is why we dissect them tonight and share so that we can probably help somebody or somebody else to fix or to rectify a situation they might be encountering. Yeah? All right. So for some people, sex is pleasure, while some say sex is pain. So is it, does, should it really matter if it's good or lame? Of course, it should matter. But those who say sex is pleasure, they don't want any lame sex. They want it to be good. And for those who say it's pain, then I don't think they should matter whether it's, well, it should matter if it's not good. <laughs> so if they get it lame, I guess they might be okay because the lamer it is, I guess the less pain they feel. Right, Prestige? <coughs> <laughs> Prestige's throat is still... <laughs> <laughs> there is still something stuck in prestige prestige's throat i'm not sure what it is or if cat has gotten his tongue i'm not sure which cat either but <laughs> i think cat has gotten my co-host's tongue tonight because he's rather <laughs> quiet after i have read the the vox pop <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm clear yes tell us yeah, i was just sending out that um yes yeah i text just a minute ago to uh you know mm -hmm. yeah i send it out to my listening audience you know and um personally you know what i don't lay him up lay him up <laughs> Lay them up, woman, in a bed. Lie down with in a bed. <laughs> you know, point blank, we not gonna deal them kind of things. Eh? <laughs> you know that clear, uh, right? Why am I gonna lie down in a bed? Hold on, hold on, thought, ladies. You don't want for those who are not seeing, you need yeah. to be able to see Prestige's face yeah. when he is throat got cleared, ladies, <laughs> and he's now expressing. Yeah, I could tell you that I'm feeling this one. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. So go ahead, Prestige. I'm going to lie down in a bed now with a young lady. Right? She can carry me. Or a middle-aged lady. We're not talking about middle-aged, <laughs> a young lady. Right? Or an old lady. A, a lady. Okay. But we just use the, the okay, terms fine. young lady. Okay, you know what so I mean? It, does, it doesn't, when we say young lady, not, you know, in a few own terms, we just mean a lady. A lady. Okay, fine. But so. we just put on a young. Because we don't know why we put on a young for any more time. You we get me? I say? Just a lady. Really you get me? I say? Well, put <laughs> it that way it. then. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we lie down in bed with a young lady. She can't caress you. Right? Mm -hmm. She don't know if you kiss, even though her breath smell nice. She don't know if you kiss. <laughs> you get me? I say? And she tell her she shouldn't do that other something there. So you're there to teach her how to kiss if she can't kiss. What are you there for? Come on now, man. Just to, just to bang, bang, bang? You're 45. And you're going to tell me about me if you teach her if you kiss her, you're 45? So all them years there where you debout and school days no, and all them kind of something. You're saying the lady's 45, right? Yes. Okay, okay, just yeah. checking. Put just it like that, a 45 year old. Okay. I'm not telling you about an 18 or 19 or 21 year old. Okay. Because 21 year old and 19 year old know if you do them things there long time. Not necessarily. And whole heap of things. Not necessarily. I tell sir. me, I tell you. Okay, boss. Them broke out of the park a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you don't grow up in a your age bracket in a them time, then you never broke out for your 18, 19, 20. Them are nowadays where you are teaching at school. Broke out and no more that way you know now. Okay. Yeah? Okay. I'm you're telling saying you, you wouldn't teach a 45. You can't teach 45 a 45 year old. Year old. Okay. It's just like you plant the tree. <coughs> you hear what I'm saying? When you plant the tree, if you want the tree to bend over so and grow that way, they bend it from its small. Mm -hmm. You can't bend the tree when it's a 40 year old. Mm. You never know, see a bed again. But what if she had no experience learning how to kiss growing up? Go, I mean, growing up meaning in her young adult. So that simply means me, me take up. What if she had no boyfriend? So that simply means is a is a forty five year old virgin me get then. Not she having no experience in anything at all. She might she might be a virgin ki to kissing. Yeah. 
maybe she never had, had the experience of learning how to really kiss. Maybe the man she was with was never a good kisser either. Have you thought about the fact that she had she had she has got no good teacher mm-hmm. to teach her how to kiss, for example? She lied on the bed and no little wine in her waistline. <laughs> eh? And waistline no grease up. <laughs> that it can't move. Maybe because as I said before again, yeah. the person that was there before mm-hmm. was off it was lame too. Yeah. Probably the male lame, so she to learn nothing along the way. When she, was go- when she was going up and going to the shop, she don't even know when she buy a lollipop or to, to, to pull off the paper of the lollipop and suck yeah, on the lollipop. That's not kissing. You know what I'm talking about, you know. <laughs> so you have a code up with you, you know. <laughs> so you know what I mean? I draw me out tonight, yeah, you know. Yeah, man, in Tampa, Florida <laughs> says, I'm going to my bed because I'm underage. <laughs> yes, Kevin, you go to your bed because you're Don't out of water out when you're you ready, know. you know. Don't draw me out. You have a code <laughs> up with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. back to the box pop for a minute mm. there, um, Cassidy. So um, for some people, it's pleasure. Yes. But what do you say to that person, that man? By the way, before I go any further, mm-hmm. I've, uh, ladies, mm-hmm. have you ever heard a man say he doesn't like sex? Because I'm, I would really love to find out tonight if men are out there who do not like sex. And if there's a man who doesn't like sex or he has ever told a woman he doesn't like sex, be real now. Is it that you don't like sex, period, none at all? Or you don't like sex with that particular lady? Because I've been on the earth for a while and mm-hmm. I, I can't remember ever hearing a male mm-hmm. just talking and interacting, you know? Hearing males say, mm. but you know, some can, but I would sex star. You know, like, I can't remember ever hearing that, that rhetoric. So I would love to know if there is a male out there. Ladies, do you know of any male who said him? hate sex or why he doesn't is, like it why is a female always um throw out that word i don't like sex i don't you know i don't enjoy sex all right before we yeah. come to that part let's let's look at <laughs> there are a lot of reasons for that i'll tell you some of them later on yeah all right so pleasure and pain mm-hmm. should it matter if it's good or if it's lame mm-hmm. and as i said um I don't know if but, there are a lot of women out there who will say they don't like sex. But you have a lot of women out there who love sex, but at the same time, they like pain and they are while so- they're having sex. Okay. And they love that. Pain? Yes. As in? They like a rough up. They rough up? Yeah, rough up. And they like feel a pain there. Mm-hmm. You're touching somewhere, and they like when you touch that particular spot, and it hurt them, and they like that. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. While they I have some women, while they have some with- women, you have to be gentle. Just easy going with them. Because they don't like that painting and they enjoy it more. Yeah. Mm. You're a woman, you know. You see, the thing about it, you know, you're a woman, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say I'm a man, right? Mm-hmm. And it, me, me put it out there because I'm not going to tell you, well, I want a woman I've been with in my lifetime. Right. Right? And I experience it. Mm-hmm. Right? You know, and you have women with those like easygoing thing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, some of them just lame, <laughs> lame, lame, very lame. You have men who are lame too. You, get me? you have to tap on that side, you know, because you, you can't men, talk about the men them. I'm sure I there don't are women. Know. Hold right? that thought. There's a caller on the 954. Yeah. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Clear, all right. You're calling early door. <laughs> yeah. Good night to you, you know. Dan Dan. Welcome. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, you're kind of early, you know, but, but listen, I, all right, here's what I think, my comment on my prestige just said, yes. what the pain thing. You see, um, <clears throat> I think if, if, if your, if your first, if your initial encounters with, um, with, with, with making love, you see, if it, if it, if your initial encounters are painful, um, like it, it is likely that you that that you're gonna measure <clears throat> um, from a, from a woman's point of view. Now, it is likely that that that, that you're gonna measure um, <clears throat> the efficacy of of the event mm-hmm. in terms of pain. Understand me? Yeah. So let me get you. So you're saying if her initial encounter with the act was that of pain, she's gonna yes. measure everybody else based on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, you know, so, 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 so she, so probably she, she, she's gonna measure the whether it's good or not based on probably based on the amount of pain. Pain that she felt. Right. 
No. And not necessarily amount of pleasure she felt. That's what you're saying. Uh, yes, yes. No, if it's if it's pain as in agony, as in pleasure. Yes. Is that total? Is that, is that, is that total different uh, different ball game attack? But pain and agony are to pain as in agony is a bad one to me. Pain and pleasure is a good one to me. No man, agony. I, I, no man, agony. Agony is a, is a pleasure, man. Oh, the agony, the rough up, rough up one. No, 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 no. No, agony is not, agony is not a rough up one. Mm. Agony is when you is when the agony is when you, is, is when the belly stir up and oh, upside down and everything. Masa. Yeah. Me not think more on a stir up belly. Sorry. You yes. Know, but. But 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 um but but no, no from from a man's point of view now mm -hmm. um cult culturally them feel, for the most part them feel say hey if if woman can't go through all them 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 birthing pains eh, it, 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 it's it's a it, it's it's a it's it a game for them so some 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 men think that way and, and that's why some men will go and, for and, some. huh. That's a misconception for some because I don't think they should be equating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should be equating I, 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 I the pain of sex with the pain of a, of a child. Right, right, and 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 that, and that is why some men will think if 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 them don't feel them partner is is experiencing pain that them 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 not them not do nothing. No, do nothing. Right. But, but but shouldn't it be based what you give? Shouldn't it be based on? what the person requires because if it is that a mm -hmm. woman says i don't want you to do x oh i don't like when what? you do x but but you find what, what, that what? um i've seen i've seen clips where the male and as you said alluding to what you just said i've seen clips where the male doesn't even stop to consider the fact that maybe even though she's making these sounds and these mm. moaning and stuff mm. The fact right. that she's saying that does not necessarily mean that she wants the response that he's giving. And even when right. he starts out and she's, yes, continue, and she seems to be engaged into it. And the moment he gets even rougher or giving, passing on the agony, as you said, even more, and she begs him to stop, you find that there are men who just continue because they think, as you said, if they're not putting it on a certain way then he's not doing anything <clears throat> and that hey, shouldn't be so even if she wants it harsh and then she says no go slow then i think you ought to comply but it, but, but, it, but the thing is you know, this, this is an this is an this is an engagement between between two two people and and, and there ought to be some 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 um some common ground. Yes, and you know, you know, ground. just like just like in a game, you, you, um, uh, you are teammates. You know, uh, you know uh, remember, uh, you are you are teammates in this in, in, in this dispensation, right? I know. So, mm. so 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 what? So so one can one not supposed to go um, outside the bounds of, of of what the teammates um, desires. Mm -hmm. So that's what me it. All right, sir. Yeah. Well, 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 um, have you ever heard any male talk about that topic in, in a uh, way where they do not enjoy that? Have I ever heard of any male who don't enjoy it? Yes. No. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> well, what about females? <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. hmm. Sounds like I know mm. too. You can't recall. Uh, all right. No, no. I've I've never heard a female say come out right that she don't enjoy it. But you know, um, but in the midst of the act, you 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 can tell at some point where 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 there's no enjoyment, and as opposed to where there's 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 pain and distress. Okay. So. All right, sir. Cool. All right, thank you, Dan. Dan, tune and keep it locked in. Let's see what the Vox, well, the WhatsAppers are saying. No, um, <clears throat> Sadie says that true. Some women too boring. That's why them lose their man. <clears throat> um, clueless in Jamaica. Who doesn't have a clue? I'm not sure who that is. Um, good night again, Lady Cleo and Prestige. Dwight in Buff Bay. Let's see what Dwight is saying there. Good night to you, Dwight, and welcome to the show. Um, <clears throat> All right, bigging up the Stars FM crew. All right, thank you. Um, Sadie, present, she says. 
And of course, she believes that some women are boring. Um, come on, Prestige. There is a lot of women who are late starters. <laughs> That's what Kevin says. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think Prestige wants any of the late starters at all to deal with. Uh, go back. We ask the Kevin. Hey, yeah, some of them ladies are you not know, clear. Trust me. Yeah, some of the ladies them. Them. Them have the men them like a like like a puppet in the bed. I tell you. All right, all right. Don't stop. Don't stop. Continue. 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 Go faster. Go faster. Go slow. All right. All right. <laughs> Come back again. Go that way. Go that way. You get me? I said then confuse. Mm. Confuse. Misdirection. You know see? All right, stop, 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 stop. Okay, continue, but, continue, but continue. Hold on, hold on. You get so hold on there. What is wrong if she says Stop? Go eat stop the man. Take yeah. time, man. Take yeah. time. All right, continue. Go back again. Fast, 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 fast. Fast. You're going like a motor vehicle. <laughs> what you mean what wrong with that? Like a rev? Are you easy for the gas? What what, what what you mean? Because Cleo? she she has to go with her feeling. The thing about and it. What everybody's you know. saying. Yeah, but the thing about it, as long as you know your partner. Right? You know, see? Mm -hmm. And you and your partner a dance. Right? You and your partner a dance. You're supposed to know the rhythm and the, the rhythm, the move where she like, what style, what position, what rev. <laughs> you get me a come from? <laughs> where, where you laugh about? What yeah. Rev. Where you be what rev? Uh. Yeah. Uh, you know what I say? What intensity of agony to put on or not? Yes, what gear you fit draw and, and your ease off back. You get me I say? And 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 you take all coffee break more time. Coffee break? Yes, you have to take coffee break. Or tea break. You take a coffee break. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you do what in the coffee break? Drink coffee? You go ahead and you take a coffee break. Coffee break is like you just lie down, take a little break, mm -hmm. and you start again. Are you? Yes, clear. And you have not yet reached the high point? Clear, you can't reach the high point there. Eh? And she no reach that high point, point yet, you know. You reach, you know, and she no reach, you know. Mm. Yeah. But you have to satisfy her. Because women get miserable when they no reach for them high point, you know. No, no say so you see it, too. <coughs> Something in my throat. <laughs> drink, man. See the drink here. <laughs> <laughs> Clear it up. <laughs> I answer it. I listen, and it's your Let's answer. <laughs> I want to hold you. <laughs> Let's go back to the box box. So, <laughs> some say sex is pleasure, while some say sex is pain. Yeah. Then should it matter whether it's good or whether it is lame? lame. And I, I invite our listeners to call in and tell us if it really matters, if it's good or if it's lame. Because is, once does you it, get to the place, yeah, does it matter? Does it matter to you if it's lame? But of course, I, I don't do boring. Yeah. I don't do boring period in nothing that I do. Yeah. Nothing at all. I, mm. I, I you like excitement. Yes, man. You like fun. Fun and, and yeah. spunk and yeah. yes. Yeah. So that speaks to my personality overall. Yes. So it would filter into every aspect of <laughs> you know, easy, you know, you know, it's not yes, for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not yes, for the sex thing alone. You just so, need it, everything over. Boring isn't yeah. Um, yeah. A, a, a place that yeah. I... Yeah, not in your book. Not in, yes, yeah. not in my vocabulary. All right. And as such, um, lame, the word lame speaks for itself. It just yeah. sounds really lame yeah. and bad. Yeah. But there yeah. are some people who like, who enjoy lameness. Mm -hmm. In terms of, they're not into the boop, 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 like old daddy would, would tell you. Mm -hmm. You know? Ah, uh, yeah. And it just mash works. Mm -hmm. Some people are not into that. No. Some people just easygoing and relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some might say that is lame. Mm -hmm. Well, to, up to them. Yeah. It's just how oh, they enjoy the eat, the smoothness of it. That's what they like. Yes. So, lameness is determined... I guess by the the people and the encounter that they are used to having, because then, um, as Dan Dan said, you, you'll find that if a woman, um, her first encounter mm -hmm. was a rough and uh, yes and painful and painful, yeah, um, she might compare mm -hmm. any anyone else to mm -hmm. that and say, okay, he's not as rough as before, mm -hmm. so he's lame. Mm -hmm. Or a man might say, boy, the lady before did all these somersaults mm -hmm. and these flicks mm -hmm. and these different positions. And this one is just 
a missionary yeah. person. But it, 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 you know, a man and like she's not making any motion. Right, and but a man like I'll me, you know, would go with her, right? I mean, I go with my easy going style and a nice of the thing that we had. Me think me a nice of the thing that we had. And she I look at me and I said to me, say, how are you do? <laughs> what you read that though? That's never happened before, by the way. You know, where you do? That's never happened before. With me? Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> People ask me what me I do already. Yeah, me not afraid to tell you. <laughs> what you mean? You know? So, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, prestige. So, me have to ask what you I want. I had no idea you were going to answer. Yeah. But yes, he did. <laughs> me tell you something about Brad, you know, I mean, I, I real talk this, you know. This is real talk. So, so she asked me what me I do. So, me ask her what she want me to do. <laughs> So when she tell me what she want me to do, me will do what she want me to do. Yeah. But for now, you're doing what you know how to do. Me I go easy. Easy going. A nice up the thing. Easy going. I know that she I work with. You get me? She like rough up. So me have to ask her what she want. Okay. And she tell me, say, just rough up the thing. Okay. So me just rough up the thing. And then you change gear and rev. Change gear and rev. <laughs> <laughs> see you press it. yes. <laughs> Let's see, see what, what Ralph is saying <laughs> on the Facebook Live. I have this experience having intimacy with stop, stop, stop. When I stop asking, why did I stop? Mm. <laughs> I told her she asked me to. <laughs> yeah, you see it? You see it? I'm a joke. On. Um... She asked me what, okay, she, I, well, I told her, you asked me to stop. Mm. She said, she meant, don't stop. Mm. So that was very confusing. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph Thomas, thank you so much for sharing. Um, I can understand. You see? Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. And then poor Ralph stopped. Yeah. And she asked, you stop for? You stop for? He said, must stop. Yeah. And she said, no, means you don't have to stop. Don't stop. Oh, my goodness. Mm. All right. Kevin in Tampa, Florida says, what kind of coffee coffee break between sex? Not eating between sex. Um, I'm not sure what the question is, Kevin. Yeah. Oh, Kevin, Kevin, um, talking about the coffee break when me take. You get me? I say, more time you take a coffee break if you're tired. You're not tired. You take a Peachy coffee break. Says, like seriously, coffee break prestige. Yeah. If you're tired, you take a coffee break and you come back. Uh, you get me and say you start oh over I, again. So are you saying like having some water or juice is coffee break, for example? Listen up. Is that part of coffee break? Uh, both of you reach your climax, <laughs> right? Uh, or one might and one no, might No, well, both of you reach your That's climax. That's your scenario. Okay, go right? ahead. And me take a coffee break. <laughs> I'm a combat. Maybe I'm going to eat some food. Maybe I'm going to eat some ice cream and all them kind of things. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to take a sip of, uh, you know? Yeah, go take ice a sip. Ice cream, you eat the ice cream, you take the ice cream back with you and do something with it. Let me go eat some ice cream. Okay. Yeah. That's a whole right? long coffee break, the man. Yeah, and, and break you know. Breaking momentum, my you. That's breaking the momentum, man. Take the long no, break, ma- you eat ice cream. You can't clear. eat ice cream fast clear, enough. Clear, clear. Ice cream can't eat fast prestige. Clear, you have to remember, you know, man, when some woman, some women reach them climax, you can't touch them again, you know, then kind of feel funny, you know. You know, that little tickling yes. feeling and a tickly some something there. Yeah. Don't want to right? feel. You may don't feel that way. You want to just continue going. But I'm just saying with some. You get me I say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then just, you know, feel that way. So you have to just ease off your minute and take a coffee break. You know? And then look away there. And then you come back again. Start over again. Rev up the engine. And you continue again. <laughs> <laughs> you get me I say? Take your time and do your thing. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. You go and do that. Oh, you fold plate with thing and take your time and do your thing and go up again. Rev up the engine. Well, 841 says prestige. Me like, yeah. oh, you're back broad. <laughs> that means you can't go for long. <laughs> <laughs> broad, back and long distance. Can I tell you? Um, wow. Who? <laughs> Bathroom break. Chris, yeah. Chris, Chrissy Boo yeah. says... Mm. Bathroom break. Mm. And you know that there are people who, who complain about bathroom break. Mm. I don't know what them expect mm. if you're carrying on and carrying on for how long. Mm-hmm. The possibility exists mm-hmm. that you're going to need a bathroom break. Yeah. But you and your ice cream break thing just look a bit too long. Can't mm. manage it. Yeah. Winsome in St. Thomas says, Good night, my goddaughter. Big ups to you, mama. And prestige. I am back from the call. I would teach him or her what to do. 
if I want satisfaction. That's right. You need to learn to teach. Not because them that hurt long time. Them no most know your style. Mm-hmm. There are so many different styles and pattern mm-hmm. to follow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and different um, preferences. Mm-hmm. So maybe you meet somebody who all along she was getting mama, papa, something, something, something. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> it wasn't, it was her thing. That mm-hmm. was what, where she was, yeah. you know? And what she what she felt was, oh wow, great. So me, do, me teach her about position. Yeah, so you come along now and she I like, teach her about position. Oh my God, I don't know this. I've never had this before. Mm-hmm. So what you gonna have to do now is to teach her certain things where you like mm-hmm. and ultimately hope say a mixture of what she's used to mm-hmm. and like. Yeah. What she likes uh, and along with a mixture of what you like will fuse and give a brand new something, something, something. Yeah, but some of them not really want put themselves and get themselves in a them position there. Mm. Yeah. They're not, they're not open to change. They're not open to change. They're not used to this Christian thing. Is it a Christian thing? Is it? Mama and Papa. I saw no oh, call Mama Papa. Yeah. It sounds kind of senior. Yeah. Mm. You know, them just Mama used to that. You get me, I say. You know, and when oh. you put certain things to them, and I say, no, me don't hear them kind of something, you know. Because me don't want my leg all in place. And me feel like come down back, it doesn't hurt me and all about my body. I hurt <laughs> me. I don't hear them things. I say, what you mean? I said, what do you mean? <laughs> then how are we going to enjoy ourselves? You get me what I say? Are, but, but, but prestige. Yeah. There are certain positions when you put a poor female in, she can probably come back to fit true because her leg, they might just stiff up most of the contract and all these things, the whole are mm-hmm. because she you not know, fit like that, she yeah. not flexible as like that, yeah. and then you know what, try to turn her in a, in a letter S. There's, there, you, can't go all boat in the, you can't go all boat in the house. You all go in the living room. She said, no, me don't want nobody to do it. See me with my pass and all that. I said, what are you busy with that? Oh, you want to go on the veranda? Eh? Oh, you want to go on the veranda? On the veranda? All on top of the roof if you have a place to climb up on there. <laughs> when rain fall, you go up with the ladder. <laughs> Hold on. You carry up there when the rain fall? Yeah, and go up on top with the, with the ladder and go up there. With the rain, when the rain fall? Oh, you mean? So you know the elevator, what you enjoy yourself. You know the elevator, what? go up to the, the 40th story. You know the elevator, you stop here up on the 15. Deliverance. Yeah. yeah. You're there in your house, you don't turn on the gas stove, right? Huh? And you just eat the burner, them and just put up on top of it long after. You sit on top of it. That's a call, at love. Want, the time is now two minutes past ten. You call it at love. Oh, Lord of mercy. Keep at it, love. Keep your at love. <laughs> the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And the Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audience. Stage and lighting. We so come back. You go Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no-parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a bit, you give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com 
or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, huh? Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518 2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399, 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk with Lady Cleo and I almost said Daddy Road. <laughs> and Daddy Prestige. <laughs> Prestige is with me tonight. And boy, can I tell you, he is so far away. He deserves a punch with that hot stove story. I tell you, boy, turn on the stove and put the lady on top to sit. I would prefer to go on top of the stove when he is already sitting on the stove. Yeah. I mean the one to, to christen no hot stove. But then again, one of our texters said, when it really, really reached you and it's all that good, then you forget where your feet go. <laughs> and I guess you feel no pain when it's really all that good, is it? Um, Chrissy Boo, champion gal from Fairy Hill, Portland. Pick up yourself. Always locked into Styles FM and to Real Talk. Pick up yourself, cute girl. All right. Nice to have you on board. Um, <laughs> interesting. Coffee break. I don't have to do that straight. No, I don't have to. So him do that straight, non-stop. Him not stop for no coffee break. Four, six, zero, not stopping. And we are the champion, boy. All right, sir. Stula. Yeah? Um, what? Let me see this one. Coffee is caffeine, coffee, and caffeine is more energy for round two and for round three. Or for round three. All right, 782. Thank you so much for the comment. <laughs> Um, somebody has said that um, prestige at foot up in the air, a prayer. Um, me no know about the at something. Me no know the no let that stove something there and me and prestige now. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Prestige and the at stove something. Me just can't analyze your rear in a scotch off because no, prestige clear, clear, is starting to put her up on her at stove. Clear, clear, clear. You're not gonna turn on the stove, light the stove, and make the stove stay for you know, two, three minutes. How long is that? You just want it just warm. Warm? Yes. You get and me? And all the way you're giving her a warm enough. Eh? We call this at love. <laughs> <laughs> I want mine frozen. Mm? <laughs> if I say you're gonna give it to me hot, mm -mm. Mm. me don't bother with the stove something. Press mm. it too exciting, you know. A little bit too exciting, you know. So you said to me, so you said to me, so, 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 so you said to me, right? Huh. This, these are the things we talk about, you know. Say, you have to make, if you are in a relationship, right? Put it like that. And you want your, your, your love life exciting. You can't just, you know, the house, you know, the house every minute. And you just, you, every, every second, a bed, you jump in a bed, jump in a bed. I agree you get me? with you. You know, see? So what, about, what about this? Well, know, what about, I'm asking you now. Mm. What about <clears throat> the balcony? What about the veranda? What about the staircase? Mm -hmm. What about... The simple floor, I just as you know, said some somewhere else. Mm -hmm. What about on somewhere outside? I mean, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. But at stove. Our dear man. So so you let us go, we just put it on the stove just like that, then you never have a problem with that. If the stove hot, you can't go The stove got warm. I know stove when when you come off, you can't sit down. Warm or not. Yeah. 
That yeah, one feeling have, is nice. I'll be enough. focusing on the warm I know the temperature. Not. I know the temperature to put it. Just like when you're going on the shower, go beard, I hit on the pipe well, I use with the hot water. Yeah, I know the temperature to put water. it. I you know the temperature to put it, right? So yeah. I know the temperature to put it on the stove. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm an expert. <laughs> All right, expert stove. Yeah. Stove. <laughs> so we just warm man. the stove. <laughs> I keep her warm. Keep <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, watch out for prestige, I tell you. As some the washing gonna, machine, Novlet says. As some, yes, people, yeah, as some people, you know, a glass say, boy, that, that brother is so kinky, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, be careful of the weight, you know, because on a serious note, yeah, yeah. these mm. machines and these um, furniture nowadays, not so strong, you mm. know, and these mm. appliances. Clear, we're not, not talking careful. about, yeah. If the, but it's true. Yeah. If the weight is too much, mm-hmm. it will cause dent. But you have to choose. You know where if you choose. Based if you know your people overweight, is. you know where to choose to go. Mm-hmm. And do your thing. Where you going to put up on the furniture for the furniture for? <laughs> you're not going to do that. Because it'll cost you. Yeah. Uh-huh. You get me, I say? It'll cost right. you. Yeah. Let, let, let's go back a little bit to mm. the... Hot topic, Katie and Edmund says. Indeed, Katie, and can I tell you, Lisa Rule, Rule it is, joined in as well. Where well, is yes, Lisa? I want to say good night to you down there in Wonder Ballers. Oh, we have a caller Are on you topic the this? four, five, three. Good night, caller, and welcome to Real Talk. Hello, Carl yeah. Cleo, hello, Prestige. Hey, what Hi, how are you doing? We got yourself, man. We uh, take it easy and listen to Prestige, I say. Mm. How, how why are you put on Prestige? I love the bottom. 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 At love. You open bacon. At love. You see, if you're not an expert, I'm not telling you to go out there and try it, you know. Right? No. You have to be a sexologist like me. I try to so like I jerk it. Something Yeah. Well, jerking is one of the better mm. forms of preparing meat. Yeah. Yeah, clear like jerk. <clears throat> jerking is one of the better methods of preparing meat, other than frying it and so on, because frying has too much oil. Yes. So you maybe oh. can jerk it. Yeah. Or, you know, roast yeah. it or bake it. So clear with the program. Okay. <clears throat> when I first see you tell you what style in doing, you know, you know, he's here about you. I walk to your wife. He warms it. He keeps it warm. No, I don't think I said we can tell him his style. She's still on. She's still on. I'm his son. Tell him don't burn it up. Repeat that. Tell him don't burn it up. No. I don't think he's going to do that. All right. No, I'm not going to burn it up, man. Bless on yourself, sir. All right, darling. Thanks for calling. Yeah. <laughs> Keep on listening. All right. I say, I will, I will. So, so when he said, oh, all right. tell press, make Pressy tell you what style he's doing because remember this two of I, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the box spot once more, please. Uh, and while people are texting in, remember the numbers to call us are 876-453-1444 and that number is being called right now. Good night, caller, and welcome to Real Talk. Hi, good night. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Good. Um, Good you guys, huh? Okay, where are you calling from? Alan Avenue, first stage, Godfrey. Are we okay. are going with Godfrey, where are you? <laughs> there, I don't know, I make clear dry out, you know, clear. <laughs> hey. I wouldn't do so, any such thing. Clear, you know, I win our Guinness. Oh, hello, uh, what about? Yeah, mommy, they are listening. I know I joke the boss, the guy boss, the boss, the boss. I know, you know, I know. But him have more words than me, I tell you. Is him going to draw me out? He up and up, stay up, man, is it? All right, sir. Ah, Big yeah, up yourself, Guinness, from way okay. back, Police Youth Club yeah. days. Big up yourself. All right. All righty. You're yeah, well been knowing God for a man. Yes, man. It's from way back. We're going from way back when I just got here mm. and I'm part of the youth club, police, Port Antonio Police Youth Club. Oh. All the Port Antonio youth, Police Youth Club ads. Speak up yourself. Past and present. All right. Prestige, put your piece of cane on the stove. <laughs> Let's try roast cane. Yes, or baked cane or grilled cane. Grill cane for a, for a, for a change. That's what one of the texters just said. You to put your piece of cane on the stove. That person not like me. <laughs> mm. I think it will lose its size like mm. um, for just a minute of being on that stove. That person don't like me. 
All right, so we are admi admitting that it should matter whether mm. sex is good mm -hmm. or if it's lame. Mm -hmm. And um, for people who love a certain style, yeah. when you meet the partner and when you and your <clears> partner <throat> doing it, whether it's, if it's a new partner for one mm -hmm. or somebody you've been with before, and the person you've been with, with, with long enough would have mm -hmm. known your style and would have grown into yeah. the styles that you both like. Mm -hmm. So if it's somebody who you're just seeing, then you'd have to share the things that you like. So the male need to tell her what and what him like. And she would need to tell him what and what she like, for example, likes, for example. And then they see how best they can strike that compromise with each other. Because yeah. it's going to be important. Yeah. But you might find that, you know, <clears throat> sorry, a woman might be with a man who was easy going and smooth. And she grew to like that. Yeah. You know, she, she didn't mind that. Mm -hmm. And she thought it was good. <clears throat> and then she met somebody else who might be into the hardcore. Mm -hmm all the time then yeah. you know or most of the time mm -hmm. and for her it's it's gonna be an adjustment where mm -hmm. now she needs to adjust to more physical rigid stuff and get maybe tired more easily for example mm -hmm. so she gonna have to know, know how, how do i conform to this or how do i readjust myself but and vice versa mm -hmm. the male gonna have to know say boy she's no longer this particular one can't manage it. Not even that too. But suppose she has said, Wow, I was 20 there before, man, <laughs> and Juna come on now. You get me, I say? Right? Because I don't put it like that, you know, like say, Well, she can't manage it. You, know? you can find women like that where can't manage mm -hmm. them kind of, you know, hardcore, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I, 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 again, to. The other be, side is. Yes, being to the fact now. Tony used to just relax himself and she liked them kind of style with Tony, you know what I mean? I say? And, and she, she never experienced the other side with Jimmy, Jimmy now. Jimmy now is a and when Jimmy story. come on now, she say, Whoa. Uh, what Tony did I do all along? Wait, me? Yeah, I did my position not to let because Jimmy put me on now. Mm. You get me? I say, Whoa. You come like me, we used to have 15 years of my time <laughs> with, with, with Tony. You get me? And Jimmy now, I do a little thing for the left there. Because you find, say, No. She and Jimmy had drive all go down the road and them all go and watch and then look away. They come up from beach and all them so they pull over and all little place and then go do it. They do it. So rain and fall and do it. They do it. So I just jump back in the vehicle. Go and and them it's go. excitement for them. Yes. And them look away there. While Tony used to just in the house. Everything is just in the house. Mm. In the house. In the house. And in the bed alone. Yeah. In the house. You know what I mean? So your, your, your relationship and, 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 and them kind of things, they, it just get boring. Mm. And lame. And lame. So even though you might be enjoying the, the act itself, yes, it's yeah. still a lameness. L just like that. Because you're not adding any variety and spice to right. it. Right. Just like that. All right. Yeah. Um, please feel free to call us. Remember the lines mm. are open. Phone lines are open. You can call us right now. Um, overseas number is 954-338-7973. Uh, All right. So we go to the other part. Of, oh, before we go to the other part of this, let's see what our texters have been saying on the WhatsApp connection. Let's go to Novlet um, in Canada. Cold, cold Canada. Um, Novlet says, Cleo, some need to warm in the winter. When you hold it, it's very cold. Mm. Okay. Then not sure if you warm it up. <laughs> <clears throat> if you're up there in Canada, anytime cold, you get me, I say, right? Mm. And and the man John want to warm up. You know, warm up, the man John? You warm it up? Yeah. Because sure. in the cold, everything gets small, you know. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, you have to warm it up. Novlet, let me teach you that, Novlet. You have to warm it up. <laughs> you don't wait for it to warm up like that. You warm it up. All right. That means have a way to warm it up, Novlet. <laughs> or should I say Novlet? Yeah. Novlet, right? Yeah. Prestige. Some man and woman just boring. Too much mama and papa and missionary. Some reverse cowgirl. And 33 and 30 who? <laughs> okay, this call for a drink. <laughs> 33 and Ting. Oh, whoa. all right, 841. Thank you. She got close to your age bracket, man. Just say, have to drink something, not you? Have to drink something. Eh? Uh, eh? Hot, hot girl like you, and she going to send him something there. Uh, Don't it? <laughs> <laughs> Grace said tea will make you fall asleep. We read that one already. And of course, coffee will keep you awake. Mm. 
Um, yes, mm. we have a caller on the 954. Good night, caller, and welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Lady Cleo. Hi, night, hi how are you, sweetie? How are you doing? I'm not bad. How are you? I am well. Very interesting topic. Okay, let's share. On it. Let's, let me hear you share your ideas on it. Well, my idea on that topic is some men don't really know how to please their woman. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to that, some women need to step out to get that variety. You know, variety is a spice of life, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, talking about the hot stove and talking about coffee break, that ain't cutting it. Yes. A man know how a man must know how to work a woman in the bedroom. Right, right. So that's my take on that. All right. And do you think it should be more pain or more pleasure? It goes hand in hand. Yes. And it all depends. You know, some men don't have the they have the size but don't have the rhythm oh, to whoa. go with the size. Okay. So it costs more pain. Right. Some men don't have the size, but got the rhythm and got the pleasure to go with it. All right. Some men don't, don't got it. Hmm. All right, darling. Thank you. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from New York. New York. You're All calling right. from New York. So that means you like the what? <clears throat> oh, Cassidy, yeah. You're calling right? from New York, right? What's your name? I didn't hear you. Yeah, what's your name? My name is Sandra. Okay, Sandra. You could have given a little fictitious name to you. Know? You don't have to give your right Thank name. You. <laughs> yeah, you could have said your name. Yet, you see what I'm saying? That simply means you like the small size with the rhythm. I think we lost her. We yeah, lost we her. Lost we lost her. her. She's gone back. <laughs> Hello, caller. I, I think I'm more or less. Eh? Four, five, three. Mm. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Oh. Hello, good night. Hi, how are you? Not too bad. Uh, tell us where you're calling from. Huh? Where are you calling from? St. Thomas. St. Thomas, all right. Where in St. Thomas are you? St. Thomas, Seaforth. Seaforth, oh, near my, my cousin's place, man, all right. Um, uh, what's your take on the topic tonight? Yeah, first stage. Yes, sir. First stage. Yes, sir. You know that's where some man get born? Eh. Because you know, they don't say anything the proper way, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when the next man come in and say anything the proper way, you know, he mm -hmm. cut and go to that man. Yeah. He's not him. Yeah. That's why when you get the job, you do the job proper and done. So what's your, what's your version of doing the job proper? Eh? Giving her what she wants or what you think she should get? Giving her what, what you think she should get. Mm -hmm. Because most women need the hard career. Oh. Right. Most women want them. The mom and papa thing, the, the woman in another car again, you know. Oh. They want the hard crew. They can't afford them. I say, what do you mean that? I'm kissing teeth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Most, so, you will make sure you'll be the proper way. To, make sure you back down, you know, and make sure you know, you know, like that way, you know. But most women know what it's like when they are munch. Huh? Eh? Most women like when they are munch. When they are doing munch. Munch, munch. munch. Mm, oh. mm, 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 mm. Eat something, yeah. Can I eat Munch. <laughs> you are loud, I want to sweet you. <laughs> yeah, can you have some man munch with your woman away from you? Yeah. But you know, just say, you have to learn of the holy ladies. <laughs> so you say, I want to go Yeah, but, but the munch is in the panda. Oh. I know where you're the pan, but I will tell you where you're going now. Well, because that's what you're lose to your woman. <laughs> Do we do it without them? Yeah. Do we do it without? <laughs> yeah, because we are the munching thing. Yeah. That's what, that's what, that's what most men lose their women. Well, look here. We don't have to go on our way then. Yeah, because they don't want to make love to them women. They don't go on to have sex. No, man, but yeah, my man. That's what, that, that, that what it means for... Love making is love making, not just sex. Women need for you to make love to them. I don't tell you something much, you know, but I don't tell you how it's set. You get what you say? <laughs> <laughs> a real talk. We are put out there because that's the name of the program, Real Talk. Oh, my goodness. 
You don't jump on normal like you can like you spring on by bicycle. I won't no you talk get out no man. You are going like say you're undercover. No man. <laughs> oh, you mean you don't jump on that Uber? We know, so we have to do a little foul play and do a little thing. You get me, I say, and them look away there, right? Stimulate the, 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 the lady and stuff like that. We don't just jump like one time when we grew up, we just jump and do what we are do. No, but and then tomorrow we can't do that again because the world have a bruise up. <laughs> no, but you have, you have a woman like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah but me up in a certain age, you know, me not on time for doing kind of something there. No, man, me meet one already, you know? Like, if you come from what I do, I don't jump on, you know? Yeah. Just like that? Just come from the and jump on. Eh? Eh? And that was a side chick me down. And end up, never remember say boy, I mean, never remember say me get home now. Eh? And you, I know my lady stay. Eh? Look up that time, say, why time I see back me up and say, wait, I'm here to get this from. Eh? Oh, oh, so you had that before I went to the road and I come in the house with the, with mummy and mummy and the back half. But you know, you're brave though. You're brave soldier man. <laughs> you're brave man <clears throat> but if you found something good and you want to try it mm. you have to probably find a way to mm. discreetly carry it in mm. although the average woman we're going to ask you so where you go, go, go learn this now and mm. why you want to try this now and why you do it before mm. yes I know they'll ask the question oh you know me and my brother in the middle watch some video you know we're there watching video yes that's that, that. That 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 my my lady at home did that they yeah, asked okay. Exactly. Yeah. So what did you what did you tell her? An answer. <laughs> yes. Because Smart answer. Mm. Smart response. All right, caller, we're in we're in C four. What's your name, rather? That's what I should be asking. What's your name? What's my name? Yes. You you sound so different, man. I don't know who was from C four. I'm not getting to pick up the C4 name at all. No, yep. I mm. sent Thomas to talk to you. No? You sent Thomas to talk to me? I didn't know you were in C4, sir, because my cousin Nika lives in C4. But I'm in C4 now. Okay, sir. All right, all right. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Okay. Big up yourself, right. Mr. Yourself. St. Thomas. Yeah, I, 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 because this person said C4, I figured mm. it was somebody else. All mm. right. Mm. Um, let's see what the text line is saying quickly, um, Cassidy, DJ. Let's see what DJ has in store for us tonight. DJ says, um, no break. Having a break will kill the momentum. For many people, they will attest to that. Yeah, mm. man. When you break, and worse if you never reach the climax, when you break, so things all get soft and all these things, and things get dry. No. No, oh no, killing me off tonight. Just reached Portland for the weekend. Pick up yourself. No better place, Deidre, than the beautiful parish of Portland for the yeah. weekend. Enjoy, all right? Make sure you go to the beach tomorrow. Oh, yes. I really rain and fall. Go to the beach. Yes, I'm going to church Sunday. Mm. <laughs> all right. So let's see what anybody else is saying there, Cassidy. Uh, do we have another text? texter? Remember, the phone lines are open, and, of course, we are coming up shortly on a break so when we return please feel free to hook us up on the um whatsapp connection at 876-453-1444 and the overseas connection is 954-338-7973 give me the vox pop one more time cassidy before we go to that break in about a minute or so just to let you know when we return we look at why do you think some persons, especially women, claim that they don't like sex. After the break, we will d d delve into that one. And Prestige will share his views on why he thinks some women don't like sex. And of course, we'll see how he dealt with the fact or the point where a woman told him, I don't like sex, if that's the case. It's now 10.30, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around with Zoom Forward. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. 
DIB Block Factory and Hardware Supplies Limited, your home for the widest selection of building materials and hardware supplies in Portland. Shop everything from plumbing to electrical to home decor. Find unbelievable prices on tiles, toilets, basins, faucets, shower enclosures, vanity sets, doors, windows, lumbers, and much more. Get up to 25% off at DIB Hardware the last Friday and Saturday of every month with their mega month in sale. Visit any three locations in Portland, Buff Bay, St. Margaret's Bay, and Port Antonio. Call 993-4415. DIB Hardware, your foundation starts with us. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, Native Audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, Native Audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4, the illest present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour. Stars 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 12 midnight, you just gotta tune in. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting you name it, we'll bring it to life call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531 Native Audio Stage and Lighting a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude Welcome back to Real Talk, the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. We are in studio tonight. Well, you're hearing Lady Cleo and Prestige, Daddy Prestige, <laughs> tonight in the studio. Again, we welcome all our listeners, all our friends who are texting in and being a part of the discussion. Please feel free to share your experiences and to leave an advice if you so desire. Remember, the local line is 876-453-1444 and the overseas connection is 954-338-7973. Phone lines are open. And we go back to the Vox Pop. What, part two of the Vox Pop, of course. Why is it that you think some persons, especially women, claim that they don't like sex and prestige why do you think well most of women will say they don't like sex the pain sometime as the pain that yeah. the men administer yes sometime and, and do you um, think some some uh, especially when a woman reach up in at the age bracket uh, like say 45 going 50 and they go to all menopause mm -hmm. and my two in the sex sex not a lot of them in the sex sex thing and some of them and this. some of them then just want to have sex all the time like and feel like they're still young <laughs> they get messy <laughs> yeah so I saw it's, it more so, time. so is it it could it be that there are just some women with a very high sex drive yeah. while there are others who just don't they really have one. They're going to jump on my back in right now because I said a while ago, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> but, but the yeah. reality, yeah. though, is that there are women who the, the, the near urge, the menopause, the urge, yes, and it, the urge is gone. there. Uh, yes, gone. Gone for yeah, some people. And, yeah, and some... It heightens. Yes. Mm. Yeah. 
that, that, that you can't even keep up with them sometimes. Keep up with them. Yeah. Because I know one particular lady, yeah. she would be in going towards mid age. Yeah. And from what I understand, she has a very mm. high drive. Yeah. For that. Yeah. Not sure if when she was younger it was the same thing. Mm. Chances are it wasn't. But at the age that she's at now, mm -hmm. um, and, and I believe she is about in her fifties. Yeah. And she seems to have that very mm -hmm. high. Mm. And some of the time drive. Yeah, some of the time at the pain, you know? So the pain where them got you more time because mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some women as you were saying yeah. earlier off air, yeah. there are some women who's Yes. Um, passage yeah. is shorter than others. Yeah, they, 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 yeah. Say, so for instance, they, um, womb, right? Yes. Yeah. Them have, like, you say, shallow womb. Okay. Yeah. And you have some men, right? Hmm. The member is a little bit yes. lengthy. Yes. And, you know, because I remember we did, a, we, did, we did a show once where yeah. we talked about how size yeah. can affect. Yeah. Um. The 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 act. Yes. Especially and there are when some men whose size is just too too much, large, too large for a particular yes um, young lady or right. person. And vice yeah. versa, woman, you yeah. find that there are women whose yeah. passage might be where we just okay with that. Yes. Yes. And there are some who is just too shallow. Yes. And then there are others who and it depends on the position. Might say, it depends on the position oh, too. Earth you put them is in there. Yeah. A little bit too yeah. much for me. Yes. And it's just me because his size mm. might not fit it properly. Yes. Or the way yeah. he would want to feel or she would want it to feel. Yes, and you have the little so feet. Just to find the right size that matches right. what you and have. You, and you have the face of woman them out there too. <laughs> where open them out and talk about him is too small. And then you have the men you get who me will fire back and say because yes. she's too you know yes. what. Yes, yeah. Right. You know, but so, at the same time it's just a fit. And it's just a fit. You get me, I say? Okay. Yeah. It's just a fit. And some of them is just fit. Like, 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 OJ, he fit. Okay. Yeah, the gloves fit. You know, so some of them fit and some just not fit. You know what I say? Because of the passage and them look away there, you know. And some of the women, them, them shallow, so. And, and then. And it depends on position you put them into. As we, we heard yeah. from the caller earlier, it's not even so much, sometimes, mm. it's not even so much size. Mm -hmm. Because you can have. A, a male can have what is called a regular average yes six inch yeah well mm. I, I'm, I'm not gonna say four please speak from experience i'm not gonna say four speak from experience but, but an average seven eight nine say eight and nine <laughs> mm. inches yeah for example um and it's very effective it's, it's, and you have than the 12. And, right and you'll have men too who might be four four i've never we be uh, four. I'm just saying. The reality <laughs> four. is, the reality is, there yeah. are those yeah. sizes. Maybe. Well, well, you see, I wouldn't maybe not know. Not necessarily you know. the average black man. Not, I, the, not I, the average black man, maybe. I wouldn't know unless we see but, in, 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 in like no, man, in a book I've or, heard, or so. But, I've heard and yeah. I've read where yeah? sizes are. Yeah. After erection. Yeah. It's that size. God, four. God forbid I should. Anyways, mm. um, <laughs> but th that size. Mm. You might find that there is a man who would really have the rhythm, as she said, and yes. know. How to he handle might it. know exactly how to, 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 to manage. Where to, yeah, which, and, what to touch, what which kind of, how, how to do it. To, right. Yeah, it doesn't matter the size. Right. So yeah. for some people, they'll tell you, oh my goodness, mm. I'm with this person and he is just off the chains mm -hmm. because he knows exactly how. how to do it, how to handle this stuff. And then another woman might say, boy, mm. I may tell you, you know, him have a piece of anaconda, yeah. a granana, but him not have a clue as him goes of bloops. It just goes on, mm. and gone, mm. nothing. No stamina, no nothing. And by the time him fit, do it one and two, look something, something yeah. with it. Nothing out of it. Oh. So it, I don't think it's really so much about the size, mm. but it's how mm. you're able to. to handle it. Harvey in London says, Real talk, Dr. Prestige is on the floor tonight. Real talk, indeed. We are going with King Mitchell, dead with love. Four. <laughs> Big up yourself, Everett. Big up yourself, Mitchell, who had a birthday last weekend. Happy belated to you, my bro. Yeah. And I want to say good night to my cousin over there in um, 
in Kingston, locked into Styles FM. Karen, All big right. up yourself, you and the family. Here, peace. All right. All right. So um, we crave your calls, you know. Yeah, remember, you have to call to partake, you know, and to share. All right. So please feel free to call in and to share. I'd love to hear from King Mitchell. Four yes. five four five three fourteen forty four. That's eight seven six four five three fourteen forty four. That's the number to call. And the overseas line yeah. is nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. Why is it that mostly women say they don't like sex? So apart from, we've we've established that one, it could be that the pain that they get from it when they are with this particular person they don't enjoy it because mm. of that pain. I, it, it could it, also be that they're going through menopause, as yeah. we just um, highlighted. Mm -hmm. um, it could also be that the man yeah. or the woman, well, in, in this case, the man, yeah. because we don't really hear any men saying they don't like it. Yeah. And I'm, calling, I'm asking them to call in to tell me if they actually don't like it with somebody mm. or they don't like it at all. Mm. So there are cases where the woman is not enjoying it one bit with the partner and what she does is says i don't like sex mm. you think you think you have some women who say they don't like sex because sometimes they get hurt yes yeah. And, and they're just doing all this sex thing no more there are some maybe not a lot they don't enjoy it no more there are some because they have gotten hurt or they yeah. feel when they're finished when the man is done mm -hmm. and then you have some cases where um it might be he's going for the first time yes it might be a one night for him mm -hmm. and he just decides him now to go back or yeah. whatever mm -hmm. and you might find that those women worse if it's even a case where boy she 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 go on and go on you know mm -hmm. and me finally i get through to her i forgot make an impact on her you know if i give it to her proper because she done hold me out all long. And she now give it to me all long. So I'm going to deal with it tonight. Things like that. These yeah. are some variables that yeah. causes, um, co that cause men to react a certain way in that department. Yeah. And you find that there are women who will say, you know, me not take me, me like enjoy it because me enjoy him too aggressive. Or, yes. Or yeah. this particular partner. Or they might say I don't enjoy it with that particular person. Yeah. But the woman who might say I don't enjoy sex period mm -hmm. i think she might just not some of those cases might just not be having a good experience mm -hmm. they're not enjoying it yes. they're not feeling anything it's just something there but no the right person wow. connect. the right person don't connect with her and sometimes yeah. there are people who are not sexually compatible, compatible yeah that's true yeah they might just not be connecting that that oomph that they should be getting mm -hmm. they might just not be getting and you have some 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 women where, where they just don't like the penetration but they like the munching <laughs> but i tell you you can't talk to them about no penetration uh -huh. they just love the munching mm. so this is real talk munch, 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 munch real like talk and you cannot penetrate they don't want no penetration but that yeah. sounds I'm, I'm telling you you have some women like that because i sit down and hear Young lady talk like that all the time. Christine. We have eh? a caller on the four five three. Good night, caller. Yeah, um, we call back again. Yes, sir. Christine, what eh? is it you call munching? Eh? What do you think it is, sir? D well, don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Uh, uh, clear, you lie, you know. Me ask. <laughs> 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 right, 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 right. Yeah. How are you calling munch? We're talking about not, where I sex. On, he got it wrong. It's not mulching, sir. It's munching. Munch. Like when you're eating a banana chips. Yeah. Well, that's kind of too harsh. We're talking about uh, oral sex. At first, we know that supposed to you see most men lose them teeth. Yeah. At that cause, you know. No, sir. Tap talk foolish about well, lose teeth. Them, yeah, he pile up them gum. But so, which so, gum? So the a smoking cause your gum to pile up. So the whole of your teeth ain't gone? Eh? The whole of your teeth ain't gone? They, 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 you know, when mushrooms, but they attack you. Right? <laughs> 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 they shot a knowledge, man. They shot a knowledge, man. I'm going to teeth. Oh, that's so, what I'm going to do. It. Oh. So, but, but hold on. From what you're telling me, then, that's what caused your teeth uh. to go missing? 
That's for me here. Yeah. <laughs> you don't listen to man. Yeah, That's not what you me, said. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to learn. I'm going to hear from you. I'm going to just pity then I'm going to learn. Yeah. I hear me here, so I'm going to go by. Well, well, guess what? And everything you hear is true, you know. Yeah. You know, I, you sound, you sound a way like you, the church that, that, you know, but... Me yeah. say, I know everything you hear is true. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. What's this? So like a church of that. <laughs> the truth, because the most men who, who that's a bridge, you say, I eat them do mostly. <laughs> so hold on there. Hold on, Carla. St. Thomas, are you telling me that the average man out there who has lost the his front teeth? In front teeth. All his teeth are some of the teeth, them. <laughs> some of teeth? Teeth. Well, what's that? God. They don't want to eat, so. Eh? Munch too much. Munch too much. <laughs> Look here, man. That don't cause nobody teeth to go missing. That don't cause nobody teeth or gum to go bad. Unless you're munching on the wrong meat. And the spoiled meat. That's a whole I'm different thing. I'm born, you must see a munch, man. I'm broken to eat them. 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 I'm broken to eat them, man. <laughs> but you need to probably get some dentures and try some munching. It might just help your gum. <laughs> now, you see, you see, you know, I said, we prefer keep my one out when we go to the dentist. The, the doctor tells the dentist, I'll buy it, Mr. Boy. You get this fire, you get this fire, great grandfather, like real good. So, do everything to keep it. Yes. I must do what to do to lose it. Most of the people, and I mean, what is the ladies now? Yeah. Either for the clubs mm. or whatever, if them pass 40, they're not interested in sex anymore. Yeah. Some of them, I think, some of them is maybe overdo it because I know this girl, they say, she used to do it like pigeon. Yeah. You know, tread like pigeon. So, mm. I don't know pigeon do it again, me in a year. Yeah. But she tell me that and then right now she and she can reach thirty nine forty, she gone redundant. Uh -huh. So she it, gone redundant or she just decides to to slow down or she stops. That probably you don't know. It, it, it overdo, you know, when you overdo things it always done, you know, you see a tractor big and thing and I I work my shame up over work my shame up. Tractor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't easy. think the woman can pop down so easy as where the man yeah. probably will pop down, you know. No, maybe that feeling is not there anymore. No, but I yeah. noticed, I, it, it, it noticed now that mostly they after 45. Yes. They, 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 they really but not interested. It's huh? a natural thing though, Carla. On average, it's a natural thing where you find that they're leading towards, closer towards the age of menopause and that's one of the um, the dis well, disadvantages or advantages of yeah. reaching that age where the sex drive decreases. It's natural. De definitely, de definitely so. But there are some ladies that are 50 are heading for the younger folks. Is that the same that the younger folks have more drive and they may use the blue pills and things? Right. You, you, you do have women in their 50s and so on who tend to want to draw to some younger guys to make them feel feel that kind of vibration that they used to feel when they were younger and that's for those women who, who will have a higher <clears throat> or a still a very high sex drive still even at 50 or at 40 something so it's, it's, it's it varies for some people but on average the woman going in towards that mid-age crisis can I say mm. tend to not have the desire for sex it's only natural <laughs> So don't blame them too much for it. <clears throat> I think it's a recipe for a breaking relationship, both marriage and otherwise, when we women shut off at that early <laughs> age. I think many of the marriage and things that break down, it contributes towards that. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's breaking relationship, marriage, especially marriage and um, our firm commitment life, it's break it after that ages and it's causing a, cause a problem because sometimes children involved. A break relationship and they affect them so much. So it's not only affecting them that it's when they reach a menopause. Many people does not understand to keep their relationship together. All right. The, the, that. So the, the, there's the, something you have to as a food for thought. Yeah, but the key about it still, the key about it still, you all have to go out and do um, exciting things. You cannot sit long at the house all the time. 
Because you're in a relationship for 30 years, you're not just can't slung at the house all the time. Real Drive talk. out sometime and go some places and all them kind of things. Go there. The a weekend go in relax. a park. No, just come home from work and you know, slung at the house and you watch TV and she in you know, the bedroom, so they put her phone and do what she do. And now that you do for the whole year. Same yeah, thing over and over. She has a very valid point, Pesci, but you must yeah. re- realize that the whole creation of the world is people, you know. Yeah. And without that excitement, you know, that thing. Because yeah. sex is a really the spice of life, you know, and it creates all the life living creatures on earth, you know, down to the hands. Yeah. So if that now takes place, you realize no matter where you go out and do, you know, mm. that time for that, it's like nothing can fulfill that. Or anytime that breaks, yeah. it's cause a problem. I agree? That's true. Yeah. Bless your soul. Sorry. Take care. All right, real yeah. talk. Yeah, I totally think break that and money and that. You know, as he said mm. that, mm. you find that there are people, as you said, the mm. people just sometimes stay indoor or they don't yes. go out. Yeah. Um, with with the age mm-hmm. differences, as people who are in long term relationships get older, they need to also understand that their bodies are changing. Mm-hmm. So the man needs to understand yeah, the woman's changes and vice versa. And when that's they understand again. and communicate what the drive is or is not, then they'll know how to treat each other yeah. and how to yes, respond yes. to each yeah. other. Yeah, good night. Hello, caller, good night. Night, night. Guinness again. Yes? Yeah, me ask you, you see anything you eat, you swallow, don't. Well, yeah. depends. Yeah, you cannot eat. Uh, if if them continue to eat, them will damage the woman. Them. You have oh. to exercise your tongue and your lip. Okay. Yeah, I'm not to prestige the same thing again. So, it's the old people style kind of dry up. Yes. Yeah, you have to take it outside. Night beach, under the moonlight. Oh. Uh, All about, you have to spread it out, you know? Yeah. So, so hold on. What did you say about the, the, the tongue and... What he's saying that... You don't eat certain things, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. Because anything you yeah. eat, you have to swallow. Swallow, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Most things that yeah. you eat, you have to swallow. So you I use your the lips and you use right. the tongue. I, I do what you do. It. You don't use one. your teeth and damage up your woman. Oh, no, I don't think they were referring to teeth, darling. Yeah. No, not teeth but, can't come in play, my love. You know? That's yeah. so good. <laughs> That's why I'm losing teeth. Um. Okay, because you've been chewing too much. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Miss <laughs> 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 Roy so says if yeah. eat too much bone. All right. All, All right. right, Guinness. Thank you. Yeah. Marcia in South Carolina says good night. What is Saint Thomas munching? Um, I don't think he's been munching on that. He's yeah. been munching on other things that cause him to lose the teeth, maybe, but yeah. not that. Yeah. He's burning a fire for that one. Mm. King says she might be sexually assaulted as a young age or has been traumatized by men. That's so true. Mm. And um, on a very sensitive note on that, mm. there are some women who will say they don't yeah. like sex because, because of, of those that, factors true. indeed. Yeah. And ironically speaking, yeah. there are those, studies have shown that there are those who have drawn to that kind of sexual um, conduct mm-hmm. because they were also traumatized or yeah. men, um, sexually assaulted. assaulted. So it, it, it's, um, I don't know, different people respond differently to it and there are those women who if they don't get mm-hmm. professional help, help. and, and um, counseling yeah. to get past it, mm-hmm. and which some of them might never even do, mm-hmm. they, but if some don't get that help, they might never get past it and see it as Mm-hmm. a part of the past yeah. and they shouldn't carry it over mm-hmm. into their mm-hmm. present relationships mm-hmm. or into their adult relationships yeah. while there are those who think that this is how I felt despite it being a bad thing that happened mm-hmm. to me this is how it made me feel and mm-hmm. as a result mm-hmm. I find you know they might find themselves drawn towards always wanting that feeling that's when them sitting broke out well I don't know yeah. what they call it you know but mm-hmm. um it, it's, it mm. happens. Yeah, they want it all the time. All the time. You and know? they want it in the same yeah. kind of way. Same kind of way. Despite it yeah. might bring back yeah. the memory. That memory, yeah. And some of them will also block that memory mm-hmm. and engage in it just for the the, the, the sexual, the physical gratification mm-hmm. that it brings. Yeah. All right. Um, wow. We see Sarah Lee Pottinger join in. Cynthia Armstrong also on the live connection thanks guys Cynthia welcome armstrong. welcome welcome welcome, welcome. Oh. 
Um, let's see what other text messages are out Ms. there. Armstrong, Cassie. good night. How are you doing up there in Fort Lauderdale? Ava, welcome on board. Um, Melissa in Pear Tree River says, good night, lovely people of styles. Lovely people up a styles day. Big up yourself over Pear Tree River day. St. Thomas, big ups to you guys, all right? Um, wow. Interesting Vox Pop tonight. Mm. Let's go. Well, how long is the Vox Pop, Cassidy? Can we take it before the break? <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to the Vox Pop and hear what the people are saying before we take the last part of the Vox Pop tonight. All right? If the dance lame, I must complain. You understand? Some women don't like to dance because um, maybe it's painful. And uh, if we have a partner and he can't please me, well, they can teach him. If he can't take teaching, he they take him again. Are you listening? No man has to no woman nowadays. If him dance with her and enjoy it. So we don't know why we women always put up with some lame ass man who can't do nothing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... <coughs> She said that a man, a woman is not gonna, man is not gonna stay with any lady if she lame. Yeah. You know, you might find that a man might stay with a lady if she mm-hmm. lame and mm-hmm. got road, mm-hmm. as opposed to a woman sticking around with mm-hmm. a lame guy. Mm-hmm. Cause a man is stay with a lady if she lame, you know, as long as them are right and it's no problem. Yeah. When him come home, it's not a headache. Everything is fine. Yeah. And him is there because he may like her personality. You know, and she you may, find you know, when it lay, nice man living there. It was good yeah. because it's a food. Yeah. I'm going to go there. But and as what, God, get him other right, but as, as what she said, him can't teach her. If she's willing to learn. Mm. Yeah. Because there are people yeah. who might not be willing to change yeah. and to learn anything new. Mm. And they might feel like your way is too imposing mm. on what they're accustomed to. And some of them, you have some of them people to where they mean that in church so much in them church and i don't know that's another issue yeah i don't know if the lord tell them say they're not to put them foot over there so i put them foot over there so you get me i say oh let me say or, by or the if way, the pastor tell them them kind of things as eh? it relates to but then just make the relationship the really religion just get in between the relationship and weaken them relationship as it relates to based on where the bible you know where we yeah. go with the Bible, but those people who are married, and we have a caller on 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Hi, how are you? Where are you calling from? Hello, where are you calling from? We lost the caller. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, do call back if you can. All right, um, Gracie's asking what happened to Charm tonight. I'd love to know too, Charmy, Charmy, where you at? All right. Um, Where do you have any of, you know, some of them Christian, you know, but uh, nobody uh, feel like say, they're going to make for them life and their relationship or their sex life just boring like that, you know. <laughs> you get me? There are some. Yeah. And it's good to know that you have husbands and wives, for yeah. example, in the church who understand yeah. that they have to keep the spice. And the fire burning and the stove warm in them relationship. Most definitely. Right? You got to keep it going so that you don't lose that fire. Yeah. Because the moment the fire is lost, mm. worse if it was there before, mm. things start going down ill. Yes, the stove coming again with the fire. <laughs> That's that why I brought I it up. You. <laughs> so it's, it, it's important that if you're legal, you're legal. Because mm. people who are not legal are going with them things. Yes. Ma'am. So why if you're legal mm. and you're marriage is sanctioned yeah and the bed is undefiled as mm. the good book tells us yeah why then shouldn't you enjoy your husband explore and enjoy life your and wife enjoy it. to yeah. the maximum yeah why not you know and come out of those long yeah. boring ugly unattractive mm. night gowns yeah they might, they might, i pass in Port Antonio and i see some yeah. lovely little mm. cutie cutie stuff lingerie stuff your eyes are open bright like a what the, your ear about it, <laughs> the, 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 a lot of them be a, lingerie stuff there by SS. Yeah, but a lot nice. of them. So yeah. Grab one ladies, grab one men. Yeah. Bring one to her. That's true. Since she always wearing the long yeah. nighty them mm. or the long, yeah, unattractive something, something them. And she's sleeping in the long t shirt alone. No, not alone. T shirt and tights. You know? Or she's sleeping in her clothes, clothes, clothes. If you want to see more in, in your in your bedroom, mm-hmm. husbands and wives. <coughs> Bring home something different, man. Some mm. nice 
underwear we have to wonder and go so two times and I wonder oh how this fit how this go on yeah try that yeah me come and, home. And, and put some more spice yeah me come on me come on this evening now me come on this evening you know and me and her in a little argument uh, last night. You get me, I say? Mm. And me come home this evening and she a cook. And me look, whoa, what are them Victoria she have on? Mm. You get me, I say? And in her kitchen is a cook. Secret unrevealed. Right? Unrevealed. In her kitchen a cook. Secret Me know what that mean, you know? Yes. Everything men back, relationship men back. <laughs> you get me, I say? Right? Because work a go on while she a cook, you know? <laughs> you get me, I say? <laughs> yeah. That's what it's over time now. No, no, no. Yes. Two of us got too hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get All me, right. I say? Vivian in Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, Vivian. How you doing, my friend? Vivian says, Prestige, you are crazy. Eh? Funny. You sh- you, you're crazy funny. You should be alongside Lady Cleo more Friday nights. Crazy subject tonight. Indeed, Viv- Vivian, it is. He's going to have to pass through Daddy Rude. Huh. Not you, well, but Daddy Rude. <laughs> but I welcome him anytime, every time. All right. Um, so we were well before we go any further. It's yeah. now eleven o'clock, a minute past eleven. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk. The sponsors of Real Talk is Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. Soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp five one eight two three nine nine to advertise your business and events. Call, text, or WhatsApp us on five one eight two three nine nine five one eight. Don't forget, 518-2399. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Clifford Guest House. Sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. No space, the body where you are, push it on me. You don't know this is Craig T. Now we're representing for the Adrenaline Rush with a musical ingenious digital T. Saturdays right here on Styles FM. You don't know. 4 to 8 to make it a date and don't be late. You understand? Because the new artists and new music segment is from 5 to 6. So make sure you're there and the girls there. I feel in my bone of the place. It's not left no space. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk with Lady Cleo and DJ Prestige tonight, filling in for Daddy Rude. All right, and we are on a very interesting topic tonight. <coughs> Where is the boy, by the way? Yes, the boy, I haven't seen you. Um, big ups to Jessica Doswell, who is enjoying the topic tonight. Glad to know, Jessica. Good to have you on board as well on the Facebook Live feed. Um, go back to the Vox Pop and um, 
we look again at the latter part of the Vox Pop question for tonight. Um, well, 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 before we do that last part, um, could we come up with any other ideas as to why women don't like sex? I would have loved for the women to call in and tell us why they have come to the point where they don't like sex. Is it that something is not going on in the relationship otherwise that they were expecting? It's no longer going a certain way. You no longer feel um, appreciated. You don't no, no longer feel respected. And as such, you find that you say, you know what? The sex with this person, you know, is no longer the way it used to be. I, you know another thing so to... I've lost my connection. Yeah, and you know another thing to clear? When, when, when the women, them reach certain age bracket, you know, when they reach up into them 45 or 50, them intend forget dry oh you get me mm-hmm. right and 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 they are not moist like and that even though we know yeah when, when, when you play even with them f- even with yeah foreplay. yeah okay and even when they're doing it they get dry back quick oh you know what i'm saying and them things they hurt but, but then that's what i mentioned no yeah. the sensitivity of the partner yeah. to understand that i know i'm with a woman who is 40, 40 yeah. 45 47 whatever and if it is that a man understands that the woman at that age might go through what might be going mm. through what you're saying mm-hmm. you know just yeah. now yeah. and if it is that he understands that a woman at 47 my woman is not at 47 when she was at 35 that was not necessarily the case he can't expect that at 30 or when she was 28 and they were together the way he her body responded then mm-hmm. that her body will respond the same way when him reach 50. F- yeah, come yeah. on. Let's be realistic. Or whether you were with somebody else or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it might be the same person or somebody else. Mm-hmm. Don't expect that the body, the woman's body will respond mm-hmm. to you the very same way. Oh, it's going to go through th- changes. When you met someone who was probably 30, she could manage the gyrating and the carrying on mm-hmm. for long. Mm-hmm. And she would always want more. Mm-hmm. Now... <laughs> You might find yourself using that blue pill mm-hmm. and then expect that you're now with a woman who is 47, mm-hmm. 48, mm-hmm. and counting. And you expect that you're going to get the same kind of reaction out of her than what you, like what you got out of a 30-year-old or 28. Come on, it cannot be. And you'll find that's why some men, sad to say, will leave their women at home and go out there. And mm-hmm. I'm saying... Come on, we have to come to the point where we understand that it cannot be the same all the time. You for sure, men, you will not be the same way all the time. You are going to become possibly at points where you're just not with sustaining. Yeah. And the reality is just what it is. And your partner... And you want the partner to, to be there and stick around you. But when no other young girl going to want to pick you up. But your partner is there active more than you. Because she can't go to get the young boy she wants exactly. and go and work same way. So, you know, you, you have to be more yeah. sensitive. And I'm, sh- yes, Grace, it's true, not everyone, mm-hmm. but I'm not speaking to everyone yeah. right now. I'm just saying there, there are people, mm-hmm. you know, who need to understand some of the men need to be a little bit more sensitive yes. to the needs of their, their partners. Mm-hmm. And you find too that there are men, men go through andro- andropause, mm-hmm. you know, where their sex drive can decrease too. Yeah. They don't have that oomph like before, mm. and the member not so readily standing up like before. Yeah, you know when they were in the younger days. So that too, women have to also understand. And I think women might be a little bit more tolerant. Might be a little bit more tolerant than men. Some women, and in that respect too, they need to cherish the man and let the man feel still feel appreciated because when he was younger and a fire and a kick like Van Dam, you know they they loved it. So, so, so what no, cause it? What cause it? What, I don't know if you know what cause it now. If I because, like, yeah, some men, you know, like I'll me, you know, where with my sex drive just up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're 50 at your mind, you just up there on a fire. It, yeah. Nothing's wrong with you. Yeah. And nothing would be wrong necessarily. I wouldn't say nothing, anything is wrong with the man. And a fire natural. He doesn't have it. <laughs> and no blue pill. No, me never take one of them things yet in my life. Sure. Just, 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 just,
I do not more than me get up a morning time, me eat something, me come to work, me go back home, me lie down, me watch TV. You get me, I say? And then me go up on my computer, and me and me got the park go run up and down, and me might come back in again, and that's all. It's a routine thing. I just some mistake. Me not do nothing. Me not eat nothing extra. Me not drink no roots. This no roots that when they mix up. Yeah, me so just a live. Natural, you're a natural fuller. Me just a live. Nyam um, anything. Munch? Or should I say eat anything? Or munch? Put it like that. Eat anything. Me just eat. And just enjoy myself in a life. Oh, oh. Just me. Real talk. And go to the doctor, check out. My sugar level, my blood pressure, and all them kind of things. Eh? And, and do my healthy. regular check up at your time. And that's all. Okay. And me just eat and live. You're a natural stuller? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then, ladies. <laughs> he said that one affirmatively. All right, let, let's see. Coming back to that stuller um, story. Gracie <laughs> says, what that, when that happens, them use a shiny brush. What, 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 what does a shiny brush look like? Grace. What, what keeps them going? No, man, Grace, I talk about something from back in the 80s. Them, them days, I don't know Grace, man. No, man, you know, people still use shiny brush. People Daddy Rude should that's know. Still about. Daddy Rude, that's still people about, still man. use shiny people brush? Something more, man. And what, what, what does that about. look like, by the way? Is it a Chinese looking It's brush? a little buckle. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> and when you open the buckle, ah. one little buckle, when you open the buckle, yes. It have a little brush on the head, like you know, oh, like a little, it's a little yeah. brush. But in, it, 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 it have liquid inside the vial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you have to onto your member. Well, or yes. onto the female. To the, to the vein on your, your member, oh. as well. Them say, yeah. And it stimulates the vein to stay up. Right. You know. But that can cause your heart to stop working too, no? No, no. I don't know where you swallow. No, I know, but you get me. But the vein, that blood that is pumping through yeah. your body, no, because yeah. guess what? That member needs yeah, uh, blood yeah, yeah, to yeah, stand yeah. stiff. Right. So when that blood starts to um circulate through your veins and through your arteries and all these mm, things, mm. I believe it can cause you to have. It, it, yeah, but it does. Shocking, um, uh, when you get too excited, <laughs> yeah. can but, pull a string. But when you use that, you see when you use that, uh -huh. right? Peeps, this I me read now, you know. I read my read here. I'm not telling you that I used to use it or anything <laughs> like that. I want to say prestige at all from experience. Yes, me at all from experience by reading. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Go I'm going to read sir. it up. Yeah, and they said, they said, right, as what um, the doctors said, when you rub it on, and you remember, and you let it sit for a couple of minutes, right? Mm -hmm. After a while, you remember going to get numb, feel numb. Oh. You get me, I say? So after a while, you so boom, ejaculate. Then that numb feeling, just like when, you know, because mm -hmm. you, you, you will continue going and you know, hurt yourself. Oh. It's just like when, if, if you get a hit and you end up on the play field and then come and spray that magic spray mm -hmm. thing on you and you don't feel anything. Yes. You're the same way. And you continue to do what you're doing. Sometimes you will mess up the young lady and sometimes you will mess up yourself. So does, if, it, if it causes it to go numb, mm -hmm. do you end up? Will yeah, after you after you ejaculate, thing? you not enjoy it no more as what they said. Oh. Yeah, as what the doctor and the scientists them say. Wow. Mm. Because in, in condoms there's a particular kind of yes. um, different feelings. Liquid that gives a, oh, some no, condom. Like a, a kind of numbness. Some condoms. Yes. Yeah. Some condoms. Okay. Yeah. Give you that numb feelings. Yeah. Let's see what Ava is yeah. saying. Good night to you, Ava. Welcome on board. I didn't get the first part of our text. Um, oh, Ava says laugh out loud. No. Um, okay, mm. Ava is not coping at all tonight. Mm. You're, you're killing off Ava. You know that, right? Mm. Mm. Your stories are Have a good off. man. Have a good. <laughs> Have a learn. Mm. All right, we go to the last part of tonight's Vox Pop. And what would you do if your partner can't seem to please you in bed? The phone lines are open. Eight seven six. We would love to know what you think. Share the numbers. Eight seven six four five three fourteen forty four. That's eight seven six four five three fourteen forty four. I mean, what's not shy, you know? <laughs> I mean, no, uno not shy. And the overseas number is nine five four three nine five four three three. Seven nine eight seven nine seven three. I got that right, mm. Cassidy. <laughs> mm. All right, my mind gone far a while ago, you know. All right, so what would you do? Prestige, let me start with. I, I'm not even gonna share my view. Mm. <laughs> I don't have a view to share, honestly. Actually, um, what would you do if you 
but, but but then again, you would have been with your partner for a while, yeah? Mm-hmm. And what would you do if the partner is not satisfying you? You would have to address the issue, don't it? Yeah, most definitely. Me and I are gonna talk. And, and if it's someone that me love, uh-huh. right? But we are going for so long. Between me and you, we are going for so long. Mm-hmm. You know? And if me and my partner are going for so long, me and my life, my life explore life. Yes. And when it comes to position and stuff like that, me and I teach my partner. Mm-hmm. Right? Because at this we want to do, at this we are going to do, at this we are going to make me feel comfortable yeah at this we are going to free enjoy yourself you see me i say but, but and all know, these things but yeah, 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 maybe you find a time now where she just get lame up and find she yeah, get yeah, lame up these are the things that drive other individuals to go out of the box yeah but you find that you might be teaching a man might be teaching a woman yeah how it is that he enjoys it yeah. and how he wants her to fix and to say and maybe she don't enjoy it that way and maybe she doesn't as yeah. well as she might have learned yeah the how? Mm-hmm. Hold that thought. We have a caller on the four five three. Hello, caller. Hello. May I start the press, please, please? You're on air, sir. Go right yeah. ahead. I'm on the air. I've been putting on the air. Let me tell the press. You tell me that you're from Oh, we are going with Yes, you're on the air. So go ahead and talk, please. You want to talk live on the air? Yeah, man. I'm good. I'm not on the air. Yes, so go ahead, sir. Go right ahead. Talk. So, one press, please. But they are going easy. Do you want to start a song for me, Chachi? Yes, sir. Please. Eh. Do you want to start a song for me when eh. you're done? All right, no problem. Thank you. We, I'm listening, you know. Yeah, you're young lady in the bed, lie down. I just come in front of the door, man, and I want to go pussy. I have to fuck tonight. Oh, Jesus. God almighty. Okay. <laughs> we go... Lucky, you know, you, you know, you know, if you be even can I wear the man, can we tell you the pan here live? You know, you we tell us you the pan here live. And you know, you know, if you be even can I wear the pan here. It eh? sounds like there are no teeth in the and head. Because head. I always a night now, you know. So, that can go to you, you ducky. <laughs> so Next no time you know company here with them kind of things, eh? Here. Oh my goodness. All right, you know. All apologize right. to the listening audience on the yes, outside. Listen to Styles FM. Yeah. For this mm. um, possibly teethless um, individual. Mm, individual. <laughs> yes, but back to this. Yes. The, yeah. <laughs> the young lady. Yes, and 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 you have to, you have to, you have to teach each other have to teach because market now you know you have some young ladies still you know. We know more than the men, you know, because you some men lame, you know. All I thought we Women, have a caller yeah. on the 453. Yeah. Hello, caller. Good night. Yeah, yeah. prestige right for you. you. You don't know people when you have no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you have no teeth. Thank you. <laughs> I swear to my job. And they have a fun rest of me. I'm a full 32, so I tell you they're bright. All right, caller. I never want to but... Not to the other thing is, when, you have a time when people really run out of basic come we just come to tell you have to get a doctor upon the program. Yeah. So, if, you know, because we, we are, we are talking all the problems, but we need some solutions. Yes. yes. But me here, you know, there's some solutions. 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 Method and all them things there. Oh, where I say? Like Dr. Prestige. So oh, where I say? <laughs> Remember, I tell you before, so he's a sexologist, you know? Yes, so I mean, but here you have some more knowledge, so you have to give some of the solution. Oh, so, Paula, since you've called, tell us what you would do if your partner can't please you in bed. Well, definitely, if you can, if, if you used to, and it's no more, and it's not working out like, like first, you would have to slow, you would have to just use a discretion and help her outside because, I mean, if she needs the help outside, still bring in the financial and the, um, whatever and make you feel happy that way. Eh? Yeah. You still have to go look some of the happiness out there. Eh? Yeah. Not too much because yeah. you are going to feel that way eh, too much. So you just balance the thing. Yeah. Because you can after, the, the, after you lose that amount of um, drive. Yeah. I think it cannot recapture. Not easily, no matter what thing you matter you, you try, you know. You just have to try to keep the person happy yeah. in whatever way they can. Yeah. 
And then you have to seek some other course to keep yourself happy too. Yeah. Because if you're not happy, the person not go happy. Okay. So you got to, there's a variety of the spice of life. So are you saying then that you are going to understand if it is that she goes out there because you're going to have to probably go out there too? No, not she go out there. I'm saying. asking. I'm asking what no. he's saying. No. Okay, Miss um, Attorney. I <laughs> won't be going out. I will, I will go out there to look so to help her out yeah. with that section. Eh. Hey. Because she will be a, a very good cook. She will be happy with that uh, domestic yeah. everything up there. So how will you help her out? Let me hear. Financially said. How would you help her out if she can't perform? If she can't perform, then you you, you, you know, so that part close. So you would have to find your performance out there. And it's, oh. it's all out there. So what if it is a case where she not perform because you, she not feel you? Because she not feel you? Remember, you just said that if she can perform, you know, that means the arthritis take over. Hold on a ma- <laughs> <laughs> You said, I'm asking, if she's not pleasing you in bed, yeah. it does not necessarily mean she has shared a problem in it. It could be you had a problem too. And she does not please you or you want to be pleased. So what if it is that the way that you want is she not into that? She not into that? Eh. Uh-huh. That, that means she get lame, she gets lame up with this, right? All right, sir. That, uh, so you have to go get virtual spice of life, you're going to get that. Oh. You're going to give her full support. Yes. You can't, you can't do it while you make her happy, you do it the way how she wants it. It might look a bit too slow for you that night. You say, go, you go on a fast speed one night, and when she ready for her to it, she will tell you. Oh. You balance the thing in communication. But when she not go on good, no, you just go away. Yeah, then I have to go look at her. I have to tell you. What's it? 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 You, you know, you understand, you know, clear. So the man I go like you know, understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir, I hear you. To fix, to fix the thing. All right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, poor it me. Easy. Thank you, caller, Mr. Center. The, the man say, the man say, I am all go out there. And him all go out there, go speed up the thing. I will not assist her. Yes, by speeding by speeding up the thing out there. He might go speed it up out there. <laughs> and when he come in, you get yeah. me? He uh, just... Because she... Easy. Cause she like easy. She, she's slow, so... You get me? <laughs> <laughs> so, so he just come in and just slow it down with she. Because oh she's slow. Oh my God. Yeah. The man say, the man say, <laughs> he will help her. Financially, Can right, imagine? and continue doing Must that. Good but I said if you are fish comfortable, right, okay, and then him go, they go the way my feet of satisfy for himself. Just make Panadella. sure you put on a, a, a rubber span the wheelie, yeah, yeah, yeah. because you know? things out there too. Yeah, you know? the wind fast speed you up if you, you know? don't put on the rubber span your wheelie. Well, him know that man. Mm. All right, this um eight five six says Cleo, me can't answer to that because of five years now, me not have my man beside me. Mm. So me forget the style them by now. Seriously. Mm. Oh my. You have to visit man. Visit mm. man. Visit. Mm. Find a way to meet mm. and come on ground. Then I will five fear, years. I will fear man could I do. <laughs> what fear man could I do? Somewhere in foreign land, no doubt. Or maybe mm. the army or mm. something. Yeah. All right. Um, so... What would you do if your partner says he or she does not? Um, if, if they don't please you, rather. Yeah. The partner doesn't please you in the bedroom. In the bed anymore. Uh, do you think we should tell? Mm-hmm. You know, should, should a woman tell the man that? Should a man tell the woman that? I don't enjoy. Because it's a very sensitive it's, issue. It's, it's a very, very sensitive, sensitive issue. And you, you know? really don't want... You, a woman doesn't want her man to feel badly. Mm. Uh, brush his ego, bruise his ego or his manhood, no pun intended. Uh, and a woman shouldn't, a, 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 a man shouldn't want to make her feel yeah. inferior to him or to other women. Mm-hmm. So how do you go about, do you think we should go about telling 
a woman should go about telling a man or a man should go about telling a woman how he feels as it relates to the gratification i'm gonna tell it to you right now you're right there in front of me you're my girlfriend okay. you live together and right? i'm not pl- pleasuring you the way I, you want to right pleasure. yeah so uh, you know that i don't know that right how do you deal with that situation say to you say cleo mm. you know we want to have a talk and you're gonna say what, what uh, talk know. about what yeah hey. i said listen up something seems to be wrong some changes with what? going on in our sex life ain't true yeah and you all say ain't true right me mm. say yes um the things them that you used to do before mm. the, me kind of find us you start doing things you know you know and you're not pleasing me in that way or you usually please me before they know you're gonna ask me you know if me i got rude go get things out there exactly what me what say, you mean? no you, the, hold on hold on hold on hold on prestige yeah Oh, you mean seminar? Please let me to do before. So what may I do? May I ask you, what? We what? have the children them. May yeah. have work. You have work. We're coming yeah. and we're tired. Yeah. What more you want me to do? Are you not feeling me anymore? Or what? I mean, if you're not feeling yeah. you, I'm still feeling you. Because still the sex life is getting, work. the sex life is lame. You mean it lame? It's not you like that anymore. Other, are you the tired? Other girl, go get other girl. That's why it's lame. Are you tired? I'm tired in the evenings, yes. Yeah. But you're a girl, all of a sudden you start complaining about, 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 about work, when I mean, uh, work and position mm. and whatever. Mm. Where you're going to get other things while you're complaining about this now? I'm not going out to get anything, no, but you're not satisfying me. You're not satisfying me. What? You're not satisfying me like what you usually After do before. All these years, yes, and things you're change. Complain, but things yeah, change. You have woman on road. You have woman on road prestige. I don't know if you have no woman on road. You're going to have woman on road. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> you could have man a road. I do God. whatever I do. What me not do? God. Because what? You, 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 you just love the munching now. What me not do? So you have man a road and you get the munching. So you know why? No more penetration from me anymore. Cut. All cut. Right. All right. So hold on. It's a long time for cut. <laughs> so you find that when a man tells a woman, for example, that she, if he were to, she were, he were to tell her that she's not pleasing him, you could mm. find that it could spark an argument for one. Right. And vice versa. You have to know so, how to come right, off with know it. Know how to come off yes. with it. And you might find that the woman saying, "No man, all mm. of a sudden." Yeah. Or the man might say, "All of a sudden, she are complaining about yeah. sex life and mm. the sex energy and mm. whatever." I wish she a get. What out of road a go on fear? Yeah. And as Rudy that say, "What well, come by run or what?" Mm. What a month you not go on? No. You, 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 then you said, "What am I doing wrong?" Yeah. And is it that the person is doing anything wrong? Yeah. What am I not doing? Or, and it could very well be sometimes that, yes, they might be experiencing something different for true. Mm. And they know, feel that. But what I was getting before is nothing. Mm. You know, what, what I have back home is nothing. Mm-hmm. And this thing is excellent. And mm-hmm. it might feel that way to them. Yeah. And that could be a reason. Yeah. It, it could just also be that with time. Uno just grew up out of the time, relationship. Yeah. Uno just grew up. Even, even if you're in it, mm. you might find that with so much to, to push into a day. Yeah. The, the more time you spend away mm. from even engaging, mm. Mm. more days you spend away from engaging, you find that you just get caught up with the kids of this world. Are you, say sex is not a, you are, you say, are you saying sex is not a priority? Priority, no. no you know, our relationship. You know, our relationship because we've been together for over 40 years. Yes, and so sex is not a priority right, right now. Right. So anytime so we have sex, we just have sex. Right. Eh? But my sex drive is up there and ready. Wow. But do you tell the partner? And I think you ought to find a way, mm-hmm. the best possible way, bearing in mind the kind of person your partner is, mm-hmm. bearing in mind who they are, how they are, how they'll respond to it. Because you can find euphemistic ways of getting across a point. You don't have to be harsh and cold and callous about it. But listen to this. But listen to this. Right? One evening... You are not home and I'm home, right? Because you went to church, mm-hmm. right? Choir practice, I was to ever practice mm-hmm. when I go to the church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm in the home. I'm go up in the closet. And when I go up in the closet, I see this box with this wallet of toy. <laughs> you get me, I say? So now I'm thinking of myself, so them toy I take over. Make this lady not too, too interesting in me no more. 
Wow. Because when I'm not here, I'm in the up on the street in the night. I play domino and I'm like, I'm coming in the night time. She do not enjoy for yourself you already. You hold that thought. Leave the dominoes and play domino on her for a change. We are now at 11.30. <laughs> the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Play domino with her on the stove. <laughs> so go. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Whoa, 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 yeah. I the reggae ambassador. This is Jati, the reggae ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Larvan Show. In style, on style. We're gonna eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This is every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Really rich now for the other side. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Take us to work. Take us home or go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA, 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 33 033- 0010-3322 Styles FM Native Audio Stage and Lighting Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting You name it, we'll bring it to life Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And can I tell you, it has been an interesting show so far. Our callers are afraid to call in on this one. I'm not sure why, but they have been more listening and texting in than anything else we thank them nevertheless thank you guys so much nevertheless um major here with a text says um can i ask prestige a question is there something wrong with munching and prestige no major nothing wrong with munching major it depends on your partner you get me i say yeah only want to explore life you know i don't do nothing behind closed door i enjoy on yourself you know, see, because if that you like, another she like, 
You know what I say? You enjoy yourself in life. Mm. I just say go. We have one life to live. Enjoy yourself, man. Real talk. All right. Um, it's we have another twenty five minutes or so in the show, and we are pretty much closing out of the Vox Pop for tonight. Um, Vanessa Jacobs, J Lyons, joined in on the f Facebook connection. Thank you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And um, to all our friends who have texted in about the Vox Pop topic for tonight, we really want to thank you. If it is that you are, uh, you are having a problem with your partner and your partner is not able to please you in bed, whether it's someone you're seasoned with, because I know someone who said that the partner was not, they didn't enjoy sex with the partner and they were together for years. Mm -hmm. They eventually broke up, but they did not enjoy sex none at all with the partner, even though they engaged in same. Yeah. But I'm sure there were other persons in the the, the backdrop for him, mm -hmm. but he didn't enjoy it. Uh -huh. And I think we ought to try to see how best we can fix and adjust because people there are people who can learn. Yes. There are people who are willing to learn are willing to learn. Mm -hmm. And try with the partner. Tell the person, though. Find a way to communicate with the person. Or if it is that you want to try first and you see how you can feel about the trials and the adjustments and so on, if those are made. And if you're really, really to say, nah, I don't mm. know. Don't be a hypocrite. But not even that. You have some, some women, them shy towards them things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But just like, how, just like how you, you communicate about other things in life, yeah. sex you know, is a communication, you know? Mo for real. It's a form of communication, and you have to be able to communicate the bodies, the chemistries, you know, verbally and physically communicate with the person. Maybe you touch her somewhere and see how she loves mm -hmm. that particular touch. Mm -hmm. Maybe you touch her behind her ears, and mm -hmm. it just thrills her every time. So if mm -hmm. you know that, mm -hmm. you do that. Mm -hmm. And maybe when you, you know, go on his nipple, he might go to the moon and back. Mm -hmm. So how about taking him there? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. you, you find ways to communicate mm -hmm. with the bodies of the person. Yeah. The person you're with, find ways or means to, of communicating, exploring them. Don't yeah. just be lame or one-sided about it or just one way. Yeah. You know, explore different things. Find out what she likes, what he likes. Yeah, maybe Women, she... Women, you can do that too, you know. Yeah, and, Find out what the man actually likes. And little Junior, she kiss and little Junior, and him something there, he will like. You get me, I say? You get me? Mm -hmm. Why you don't want to answer towards that? You just shake your head. Man, yeah, man, I people say, mm -hmm. your answer. No, I say, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you find out what each person... If I call on the line, call her on the 954. Good night, call her. Hello? Nine five four Fort Lauderdale, Barrett County. Have we lost the caller? Hello, caller, you're on air. Go right ahead, please. Not getting a feedback. All right, we invite you to call back if you can. All right, um, Saint Mary family. Mm. That is Tia Modiamo. Okay. Mm. Tia Modiamo. Tia Modiamo. Okay. Yeah. Big up, real talk. Big up yourself as well. Um, and Devor is in. Blessed night, my peeps. Blessed night to you, father and kids. Evening just done. All right, mm -hmm. all right, just get to lock in. Not a problem, but you can see the post show on YouTube as you know. Well, uh, all right, guys. Yeah, Javine, thank you so much for being a part of the Vox Pop tonight. A very interesting one. And um, we do invite you to see the show post on YouTube. All righty. For those who missed it and might want to catch up. All right, so our article tonight. Yeah, if a caller yeah. on 954. Mm -hmm. Good night, caller. Good night, can you hear me? Hi, yes, we can hear you now. How are you? Yes, all right, good night. I, I'm listening to your program. I'm very interested. Thank you. Um, I was driving on 95. I wanted to call a long time, but I could not. Yeah. Anyway, let me ask you guys a question pertaining to the discussion that you're having. Yes. You have your job, especially prestige. You're a man who play music every day. Yeah. Do you play the same music and do the same thing every day? Mm-hmm. Do you? No, 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 I'm going to play the same music every day. 
Exactly. Yeah. So what the point I'm trying to make is that you don't, you didn't you didn't try you I tell you you don't play the same music every day. No. You try to do something different yes. each and every time you come on, right? Yes. It's the same thing you should apply to her, to your relationship. Sure, and we spoke about that earlier on. Exactly. So if you if you realize that your woman is not performing, mm-hmm. don't you think it is for you to use your discretion? Knowing that don't blame it on her. Yeah. Look at your look at yourself. Maybe you are doing something wrong. Yeah. Right. It's the same thing that you're doing over and over and over. Mm-hmm. So it becomes boring. Yeah. So the thing, the next thing, I, I, the next analogy I want to use is your friends. Mm-hmm. You go out with your friends every day. Mm-hmm. Out of that group of guys that you're sitting down with, one of them is always with the same thing and him just boring. Yeah. You don't go to the same place every day. No. You go, you change, you change the spots. Yeah. All right, so what I'm trying to say is the same thing when it comes down to your woman. Yeah, and, and, and we spoke about that earlier on, so we have to put some excitement should, in our life, right. in our relationship. It should, reach a, it should not reach a point after you're, after you're dating a woman for 30 years. Yeah. Then the woman, is, the, the woman becomes bored of you, or you becomes bored of your woman. Mm-hmm. Things and time have changed. Yeah. You have to use your sense, you have to use your brain, you have to use everything that that is out there available to you, you have to step outside the box. <laughs> you have to step outside no the box, bro. Intended. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So if, if, you, if, you, if you are not willing to step outside of the box, yeah. then this is what you're going to have. You're going to have argument with your woman every day about this, and your woman is going to have argument with you every day about that. Yeah. So And they might you know end up saying? straying, right? Listen, listen, man, you live in a parish where there are rivers. Yeah. Go to the river, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Go to the river, you know what I'm saying? Go in the hills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, step out of the box. Find places to go. Don't go to the same place. Yeah. Entertain the woman. Yeah, but... but Surprise like, the, the woman in many ways. Yes, yeah. but this is, what, this is what we spoke about earlier on. And you get me? Say, yeah, and go out and stuff like that and, and, and different position, different places and stuff like that. That's what we spoke about earlier on. You get me, I say? But you have... You still have some women, no, you know, right? They don't want to go nowhere. And men. More than go to Brooklyn. church. <laughs> you, you, when you're surprised a woman say a birthday, don't you find ways of means to get her out? Yes, but... you want surprise her for something? Yeah, but that, 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 that's a, a one-time thing. What we're talking about... Virgin. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you have to have about one-time swing. You have, to about, you have to find a way. You have to come up with something every week. To, to get that woman because you know something you do it two three weeks yeah it's gonna be interested to yeah. know what you're coming up with that's what she's gonna be mm-hmm. i want to proceed i come up with next week i'm ready for you to know yes you and know I, what i'm saying so, I, I, so you I, have to do things to keep her going not the same thing every day papa yeah but at the same time what i'm saying to you like you just join now i even though you didn't listen before the hours before we spoke about that so, so how, how to okay. put some excitement so call in a relationship and a sex life Caller, mm. yes. I want to ask you, if it is that he tries all of this, he tries to find ways of getting her out there, and he finds that every time he does something, and he tries and keeps trying, she just resents. She puts up the resistance. She's not excited. You know, it becomes very frustrating to be trying, 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 pushing, pushing, pushing every day. You know that, right? Bridging. Let me, tell, let me say something, Sister Clay. Yeah. If the woman, you keep trying and the woman keep uh, resisting. Yes. She's not reciprocating. Right. Then obviously there, there, there is something going on in that woman's life that needs to be discussed. Right. Yeah. And, and when I say discuss, I mean lay it all on the table. Lay it out. Mm-hmm. Because without that, without, without that, no one will understand what's going on. And you know what? Yeah. The worst thing what, that we always think about is move on, moving on. Yes. That's yeah. the worst thing. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe in moving on unless you put out everything that you have within you. I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? I totally so agree with that. Let's forget about moving on. Let's forget about moving on. There are, there, there are millions of ways to love a woman. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So 
when you try two, two, two thousand and two thousand doesn't work. Listen, man, you have the other numbers to work on. You hear the song we say? Yeah. When we love it till we can't love you no more, I yeah. love you till ten. We start all back over at one. Mm-hmm. Start back at one. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Start, bro. You have to find a way. You just like your virgin there. You go to your virgin there, man. You sit down and play them, and you get bored. What you do? Mm. Well, call the you, man. You left, go, you left and go home. But what you do next week, Saturday night? I see a man there going out with the same boring man them. Mm-hmm. You have people who will have the tolerance and that drive and exuberance to continue trying. But then there are others who really and truly, and if they don't even love the woman, they will not go that far. Yeah. The man who decides to go through all that, he must really, really love her and want it to happen. Because it is said that people don't change, you know. Situations do. That, that is true. But that's what I'm saying. There's got to be a point where I have to come down to a, a part where you got to lay everything on the table. And make you a decision from out. there. Yeah, you have to lay it out. Listen, man, I'm not in love with you no more. I'm, I'm dating John. Okay. okay. John is doing a better job than you. All right. You want me? All right. Move <laughs> on. All right. Real talk. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? But listen, man, I'm not, I'm not going to stop being a Tarzan. I'm going to swing from rope to rope until no more rope no left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Where are you calling from? Miami, man. Miami. And what's your name, sir? Yeah. Henry. Henry. All right. Thank you so much for calling, Henry. Big up yourself every time, yeah, Henry. Amer- American Airlines. Yeah, man. All big right. up myself every time, and anyway. Keep safe, <laughs> yeah. all right? You're full of speech, big up man. Yourself. Big up, big up. All every right. time. Come on, man. Come to the, come to the good work. All yeah, right, man. Thank you. Program. Keep it locked to stars, yeah. all right? Respect. How many of you from the other day, man? How are you? The work, the work, work hours? No, man. I come down and my mother, my mother suffers a stroke, man. So, oh. oh, so sorry to hear. Okay. Okay. With her. Yeah, 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 yeah. We send our, best, send our best regards from us, all right? For real, thanks, man. Big up yourself every time. Peace, Henry. Come on, bless you. All right, yeah. all right. So we go with our article for tonight from LovePanky.com, and can I say Daddy Root's <laughs> favorite place or not? <laughs> LovePanky.com. How to touch yourself? Fourteen touches, prestige. Mm. That'll always leave you satisfied. We are so if it is that the woman is not pleasing you or the man is not pleasing you the way you want. Here are 14 touches mm-hmm. that you can employ that will leave you satisfied. And this, this is what Natasha Ivanovic mm-hmm. says. Lay it out to us. And here we go. When it comes to masturbation, you automatically assume men. But women masturbate too. But it's usually a taboo subject. So learn how to touch yourself. Mm. Listen carefully, gentlemen. Cassidy, you need to listen too. There might come a time when you need to touch. <laughs> I don't think he looks at me nicely a while ago. <laughs> when I was a young teen, I didn't know other women masturbated. I didn't even know women masturbated in general. No one talked to me about it. My friends didn't talk about that about masturbation. I had no idea there were ways to learn how to touch yourself. From movies and popular culture, I knew men masturbated. It's unfortunate when you think about it. Both men and women masturbate, masturbate. Yet, when it comes to female masturbation, it's a taboo subject. But the thing is, whether or not we're talking about it, women are masturbating. So why aren't we talking about it? Even Sweden is trying to bring awareness and openness to the subject, calling female masturbation Klitra. K-L-I-T-R-T-T-R-A. Not sure how I feel about that word, but never mind. It's better than flicking the bean. (laughs) How to touch yourself, prestige. Mm -hmm. Listen and learn, men, so you can know what the women are doing, some women are doing, and how you can touch them instead of letting them touch themselves. Okay. To please them. Okay. How to touch yourself. For women who want to masturbate, finding articles and videos about it isn't easy. Sure, porn may give you a little sneak peek into what, what it's about, but those videos aren't giving you the, an honest perspective on female masturbation. 
So, if you want to learn how to touch yourself, it's time to it's time for real information on Real Talk. Oh my that god. That can help you reach the big O. Oh. <laughs> By the big O, I mean orgasm. Oh. With some time and lots of practice, Cassidy, you'll get there, I promise. So read the rest of this feature, and by the end, you'll have the foundation. Here we go. Number one, what works for others may not work for you. Okay. You may have tried to copy porn videos and used the advice your friends gave you. But if it's not working for you, don't sweat it. When it comes to sexuality, we all enjoy different things. Some women get turned on with an <clears throat> that kind of play, which we're not into. And while others need clitoral stimulation, you just need time to find your groove. So if it is that you are clitorially oriented, mm -hmm. or if other women are otherwise oriented, then that's their thing, mm -hmm. to each his own. Two, be in the mood. Masturbation can help relax you after a stressful day at work or put you even in a better mood than you were before. Oh, yes. Yeah, but if you are not feeling sexual, don't push yourself to masturbation. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> There's nothing wrong with you if you are not feeling sexual. Some days you'll feel extremely horny and other days you'll feel nothing. Oh. So you need to know what your woman feels when mm. she's feeling it, Cassidy. Three, get to know your vagina. And men... Get to know the woman's vagina. Know where to put what when it's the right time. Mm -hmm. And it's not time to insert. Don't be inserting. Mm. Do all you need to do. Touches and so on. Otherwise, before you jump to dust. Yeah, yeah. I'm, a guy, I'm a guy jump. in a college. in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, me a little okay, light and all them things. Eh. Lord Jesus. Mm. Light. Me a little flashlight. Warm bright. stove, flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. Gyno. Okay, gyno. Mm. Three, get to know your vagina. You should know your vagina better than your breasts. Sorry, better than your best friend or family. This is your sexual region. So you better know it well. And you should know it, ladies. I'm, not, I'm just saying, not just for sexual encounter. Yeah. But really and truly need to mm. know it. Because there are women who believe that mm -hmm. the urine comes through the vagina. Yes. And I know that's not it, where yeah. it comes through. It comes through... The uh, what's the name of that word? I can't remember the name. The, the same little thing right. that we touch all the time and I play with all the time. No, the there's another opening. Thing. Yeah. opening. Yeah, the uh, opening thing up at the top. What do they call it? I, I, I know the name. I can't remember it right now, but somebody mm. will soon tell me maybe. The people will. Uh, I don't say it name. <laughs> you read throat. You would, yeah. yeah. I think it's a yeah, you read throat. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Um, get to know your vagina. So, uh, know where the vulva is and that is the outer. I'm not carrying my top, boy. No, vulva. <laughs> <laughs> Not Volvo. Oh, oh, oh. Vol <laughs> Volva. <laughs> Volva. Okay. Volva is the, the flesh, what we call the, oh, uh, the lips. The lips, the side of the lips. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Another. No, that's not the vulva. Oh. That's the labia. The outer oh. and the inner labia. Oh. I don't remember what the vulva is. Anyway, yeah. clitoris and no, the vagina is. Vulva. Where's the vulva again? I don't remember. Yeah. Anyways, make it old. Understand your function. When you call it marble. Um, possibly. Yeah. We, we can research it. Yeah. Explore the area with the mirror or your fingers. Just get to know your vagina because this is what's going to be giving you a lot of pleasure. <laughs> and know how to clean it and all these things too. Mm. Four, find a distraction-free space. If you're, if you're nervous, your parents are going to walk into your bedroom. You won't have a relaxing experience. You need to have a distraction-free experience. Put your phone away. Make sure people aren't going to disturb, disrupt you and that you have enough time to really get into it. <laughs> Don't be there in the room with the door open, yeah. doing your thing, and yeah. the kids running in. Mommy! Yeah. Not, oh, please. So not appropriate. <laughs> <Goodness>. <laughs> Number five. Practice makes perfect. Mm. Mm. You are not going to, to master the art of touching yourself if you do not ever... If you, sorry. You are not going to master the art of touching yourself if you do it every leap year. Why did your mom... You, what did your mom used to, call, to tell you? Practice makes perfect. She probably didn't think 
you were going to use this code for masturbating, but you should follow her advice. You need to practice touching yourself, seeing what masturbates, what stimulates rather you, and what isn't doing the trick. Number six, start with dry humping. Dry humping. Before your hands even make it near your vagina, try dry humping with your clothes on. Use a pillow or anything soft to grind your vulva against it. Oh. It'll work by creating friction against your clitoris. You'll feel a tingling sensation. From there, you should continue grinding against the object. And we are say, testing out different pressures and positions. You'll find a rhythm that stimulates you best. Get handsy is number seven. You have two hands for a reason. Amen to that. So to learn how to touch yourself. I don't know if that's the only reason, but <laughs> you can do many things with your hands. Many, many things. You probably know about dildos and vibrators. But before you use one of them, use your hands first. I'm not saying toys are bad, but you don't want to become dependent on them. So take the organic approach first and learn the speeds, pressures, and techniques which turns you on. Number eight, <laughs> focus on the clitoris, gentlemen. Clitoris, rather. Once you become a seasoned masturbator, you will know exactly what turns you on. As for now, the best way to arouse yourself is through clitoral stimulation. This is because the clit is filled with thousands of nerve endings. It's the most sensitive part of your genitals. Massage your clit gently, rubbing it up and down, side to side. Then start rubbing faster once you feel your clit getting wetter. Number nine, test out different techniques. There are different techniques for masturbation. Try out some of these different strokes. One, rub your clitoris with multiple fingers or your entire hand. Don't directly touch your clit. Instead, with one finger, circle around it. With your underwear on, rub your clit above the fabric. Pull on your labia. Huh? Rubbing, <laughs> rubbing your clit through the folds. Okay, then. Tap your clit with one or two fingers. Pie, pie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Pie, pie. Number 10. <laughs> if you're a little dry, use Sorry. some lubricant or lube. Mm. Your vagina may not become too wet, which is okay. If you're feeling it needs a little more moisture down there, then use some lubricant. It help, it'll help your finger glide smoothly across it adding more sensitivity and stimulation. 11 says, try mm, that particular play, which I'm not even going to go to that one. There are people who are oriented anally. There are others who don't or are not. 12 says, don't focus on having an orgasm. I know you want to experience an orgasm, and you will, but it shouldn't be the focus. When you're touching yourself, it, if the entire goal is an orgasm, you won't have one. You need to be present in the moment. And if you have an orgasm, you have one. 13, use a toy. But not right away. After you've become comfortable with masturbating normally, you can always up the arousal factor by using a toy. You can test out a dildo or vibrator. You may have to try a couple of them before finding one which really does the trick. But remember, don't rely on sex toys for all your pleasure. Make sure you fix it up. And 14 says, be patient. You're not going to achieve an orgasm overnight. In fact, it may take months and months just for you to figure out what feels good. It takes time. What can I say? You just need to be patient and keep practicing. As a woman, it's your job to make sure you're sexually satisfied. So follow these tips the next time you are touching yourself and you won't be dis. 
satisfied. And can I say that there are women who will tell you that they do get satisfaction from masturbation. Yeah. I won't advise a woman to become hooked on it, mm -hmm. but whatever you feel is good, good to you, tell your partner. So your partner can know, honey, do this. Honey, do that. No, 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 no. That doesn't feel so good. Try this. Try that. And both women and men should try to really aim, really aim to please their partners. And foreplay, I believe, is significant. Mm -hmm. it, it plays its part in helping to get you to that ultimate place of pleasure with your partner. Um, it works. Yeah. I, I think for most people, most people agree that foreplay does work. So if it is that men... You don't want your woman to become addicted to self-touch mm -hmm. or to toys, right? <clears throat> you need to practice some of these things. And for those women who are, who are away from their spouses, they'll tell you that they employ probably some of these things and they, it does work for them. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about the men who will do this necessarily, but there are women who... Men too, I guess. But mostly women, I want to say, I want to say, will try some of these tips to keep themselves until they reach that place. And I'm not going to knock anybody who wishes to try this or try any of this because to each his own. Those one lady texted earlier on that. Five years now. Five our, years our, our our is away. Monday is overseas. I'm sure yeah. she wants to play it safe and keep it safe. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. some of these things. She's a Christian. She's not doing them kind and of something. She can get her toys if she, mm -hmm. she doesn't go this route. I mean, I think so. Oh, oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. All right. But to each his yeah. own. You do mm -hmm. what's, what, what's best. I mean, just I said that, you know. <laughs> you do what's best mm -hmm. for you. All right, guys. We mm -hmm. have come to. So the we are telling her that is some tips for her. She could probably employ oh, some of these. Okay. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. It doesn't hurt. What a show indeed, Gracie. Mm. Can I tell you? Thanks for being a part of it every time, girlfriend. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yes, Grace. And of course, to all our other friends out there in uh, World Wide Web land, those on the WhatsApp connection, the overseas listeners and callers, the overseas listeners alone, the local listeners alone, and texters, everybody, we want to thank you so very much for being a part of the show tonight. Please tell a friend to tell a friend that next week, Real Talk is on. We go from about 9, 10, they're about 2, 12, midnight. On behalf of our engineer, Cassidy, yes, the videographer and photographer um, at his best, can I tell you, on behalf of him and my filling in co-host tonight mr smoothic mr prestige lady cleo signing out on behalf of everybody until next week please have yourselves a great weekend we look forward to a great week let me say